the four leaf clover, clover. strawberry, Strawberry. slice of life, life. singing with a sip of nectar, sweet like honey on a summer day, I'll stick with you through the wind and the rain, sweet like honey on a summer night, like a busy bee, take your flight. Let's go somewhere far away, keep me on your wavelength on our own continuum, let our odyssey begin, take me where the view is clear, up where the air is thinner, I'm your astronaut and you're my oxygen, oh, you lift me up, you take me high, you're with me every day and night, with you I'm always flying through a new dimension, just look around at what we found, you say we've only just begun, so close your eyes. Three, two, one. 
Hello, internet people. Oh, I am never doing that again. I am, I, I thought, I thought that the update was yesterday. No, it was two days ago. It was two days ago, which means that I, today, I've gone through 48 full hours, well, just about, of not being able to play the update, but it's over. It's over. Oh my gosh, I can finally play it. How is everyone? How is everyone right now? We're getting directly into it, okay? I can't even, I can't. Oh my goodness. Oh, firstly, I wanna say uh, thank you, Hangry, for redeeming first, and we got some offline followers as well. Oh, I see one more. Centauri, hello, thank you so much for the follow. I'm just saying, let me scroll down on my followers list. Who is here? Uh, Fiend Maw, Meet Decoy, Play with Half Red, Uwiki, uh, F Marquis, and then, yeah, Centauri. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for being here. Just a second, I am having trouble. I'm supposed to pin. Let me pin the thing, please. Let me pin the thing, please. Let me pin the message. Okay. Um. Okay, well, it's in- it's in the title now. If you spoil the game, you get timed out, okay? Okay? That's what's going on. Okay, let me quickly turn off the music. I love the music, it's adorable. But- but we- we have a game to play, guys. We have a game to play. Oh! Okay, so I did do my best to balance this beforehand, but if it's too loud for you, too quiet, let me know, and I will fix it. I will fix it. It is- we are currently on the Cienjo Fu. Give me a second. Where is the Discord notification coming from? Nowhere important. Okay, okay. So I have been, I've been on the game. I have, but mostly I have just been uh, uh, grinding relics with little luck. I have an almost perfect relic for March 7th now. It's I'm one stat off. I'm one stat off. It makes me so sad. All right, uh, but first, so that got time for everyone to get in, we're gonna do this real quick. Um, imagine having luck in relics. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're gonna, yes. Teleport me. Woo! I've got a spreadsheet. I make luck. Oh, hello. After noticing that you got close to the package, Pom Pom excitedly came over from somewhere else. What the, what are these? Are you interested in a package? But you are, I'm very curious. Yeah. I want to see this. I figured you'd be. This is a gift from another nameless in the cosmos. The Express has received one before. There are many who walk on the path of Trailblaze. Even if you've never met them, they're good companions of Trailblaze. Why is my game spazzing out? Storage in the Express still holds plenty of gifts sent by many of the nameless. Okay. Other oh, nameless? Yes! I wanna, I wanna, do we have names? Please give me names of the nameless. Although Akiveli is no longer with us, many nameless continue to hold on to the will of Trailblaze. They stream across the cosmos to fulfill the creed of Trailblaze. Some of them were once passengers on the Express. Others have never boarded it. But I guarantee you that they are all interested in people. They're all interesting people. Okay, it'll be good if you can meet them one day. I want to open it! Yes! I'm opening it now. Oh, in the fact, just got a projection device in the style of a scroll. Hey, this must be it. Conductor Pom Pom of the Express. It's been a while in this. Um, I'm Emma of the Astral Express crew. Yeah. The famous. I'm a famous trailblazer. Mag. Oh, hi, Mag. Pleasure to meet you. Looks like you are a nameless that was chosen by the conductor of the Express. Wait, I've been chosen? Cyan, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I've been chosen. Good thing. I, I didn't. This is a good thing. I think it really suits. Ah, hasn't told you what you're supposed to do. Okay. Okay. I want to. I want to. I want to ask questions. We're talking about the Amber Eras. It should be from AE one two one fifty. I believe that several Amber Eras. I've been dead a long time. Oh. I think I'm right. Wait. You're someone from hundreds of years ago, huh? You're dead. Okay, uh, can I ask what's in it? Yeah, it's, um, um, I may be a nameless, but I, I like money. Hmm. <laughs> well, friends reluctant to work for no pay too, that's fine. Part of the crew, have you ever been somewhere bitingly colder? Yeah, kind of, I visited Urillo 6. Isn't supposed to be quite a, isn't it supposed to be a, quite a hospitable planet? It's not, it, well, it's not anymore. It's become a world blanketed in snow. 
We could offer an insignificant blessing for the trailblaze. We could give the nameless just a bit of warmth in the winter wind, or a cool breeze in the bla in places of excruciating heat. The nameless can gain and use almost imperceptible luck. That is the benefit that I can bring you and the other nameless. Okay. And if I refuse? I can see the incredible nameless throughout history. I think you'll accept my offer for sure. Mm, I mean, I might. Okay, tell me, tell me what this is. In my time, the cancer of all worlds was spreading everywhere. Oh, uh, Celerons. The Silver Trail was blocked, and extreme climate alterations raged to no end. Trailblaze has never been an easy task, and after the fall of the Eon Akibili, that was more true than ever. To complete our shared goal of Trailblaze, the Nameless on different worlds all rose up. Some continued to go out and explore unknown quadrants, and others shared the story of the Nameless through their songs. Everything they did was to make the Trailblaze. That's so cool! The way I help is by collecting the trailblazing experiences of the nameless. As for specifics, while well, the explanation can get a little abstract. I think if you try it out for yourself, you'll get it. The power of the graced voyager is sealed with me. It collects trailblaze experiences from the- Oh, so we're kind of like living past memories? Kind of like Dr. Dr. Edward, but not? Close your eyes, okay. I'll mimic the memoria extraction process used by the Garden of Recollection. Okay, I'm familiar with that. Um, a familiar trailblazing experience using situations and companions you're familiar with. I'll use a kindler- Thank you. Appreciate that. I'd rather not have my memories ripped out of my head. You will experience the process of exploring, understanding, creating, and connecting once again here. Everything you have experienced will help support Trailblaze. Ah, yes! Welcome to Cosmodicy. Here, you can return your Trailblaze experiences into blessings. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sounds a bit X. -X. Don't. F uh, okay. Okay. Uh, huh? Okay. Play Cosmodicy. You need to roll the dice to advance on the map. Trailblazers can obtain Trailblaze funds through a variety of game method modes. Okay. I hope you guys are happy. I waited to do this for you guys, and now I'm two days behind everyone else. <laughs> I heard a space station that brings back lots of memories. It does. It looks like the. It looks like the. Um. The heckin'... Oh, what do we call it? The... Bleh, 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 bleh. The zone. The, the storage zone. Hello. I guess I go. Ooh! Get this cool... Okay, you finally got the game tile. It's a windfall slot machine. You can get trailblaze funds if you get the designated image. Okay. Let's start the game. Please give me a- YES! Trailblaze funds! Awesome! So much Trailblaze funds! Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's do this again. Three. Am I gonna do it again? Oh, hello. You recognize the person before you. She introduces herself as Sheila! I remember Sheila! She's so nice! Guide of the Herta Department of Galactic Geopolitics. Oh, choices you have to make. Okay. You feel that you don't actually know her. I mean, I- do. Her smile is forced, cold but fitting. She suddenly asks, is it possible to make an android into a real human with a rich enough script? Um. I think, yeah. Don't make any choices you'll regret. Try your luck. I think, yeah. Haha. -ha. Okay. Pop on things that might... Let's re-roll it. Oh, that's a lot! That's still okay. That's a lot of funds. Okay. Nice, nice. Da 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 Okay. We've got a house. Heard to Space Station Central Passage. I received 200 play every time I got. Yeah, I'll purchase that. Let's do it. Yay! Let's do this again. One. Ooh. You can do different paths. I'm gonna do this one. Bubble. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, let's start the game. Okay, let's 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 do this. Mm. Okay. How much of this is scripted, and how much of this is me having really good luck? I'll probably regret saying that later. Oh, hello. 
your impression of Asta can't escape the stereotype of a rich lady anymore these days, but she's obviously just a youthful and sometimes quick-tempered lead researcher. She has invited you to observe the stars tonight, and you arrive at the appointed place only to set eyes upon her newly purchased mega-luxurious, obscenely expensive telescope. Who wouldn't be overwhelmed by this feeling of, am I worthy to stand next to her? I want to look at this guy. Oh, ten! Nice! Alright, alright. The dice are all used up. Time to continue the trailblaze. Okay. Passenger Emma's contributions are shooting up. That's impressive. Yo! Well, nice. You get 60 things. Oh, I can I can do a 10 pull, guys. I can do a 10 pull. I have some right now. Okay. Ordinary dice, remote dice, pog! Anything? Okay, seems you just got remote dice. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. What is this? Fashion squad. The fashion show is about to start. Where are you designing? Uh, assignment duration? Five turns? Okay. What is this? Who is the best person to be a costume designer? Um, let's make Kafka. And then, yeah, Kafka, I choose you. Who is the best person to make costumes by hand? Himiko, because Himiko actually does some of the costuming at, at, like, well, not costuming. Himiko actually does, like, the, if you look at some of, like, this stuff about March in the databank, Himiko, like, helped make March's clothes. Okay, who is the best person to be a costume model? Eventually. Okay. Select here to get overview of the map. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's so much! We're playing Monopoly over here. Okay, friends. Name the, the contributions of all nameless. Okay, okay, nice. Hello, bagel fan. Thank you so much for the follow! Give a like to other nameless to get reroll coins. Okay. Like. Like. Can I like myself? Yeah. Oh, I can keep going. Money. Oh, please select something to buy. Potato fries Sunday. That sounds amazing. Gain following buff after when obtains trail but receive. Okay. When obtaining trail bits, funds repeat uh, asking for four turns. I mean, here I'll do this. It's that's a lot of money. Otherwise, I'd say yeah, let's do it. We will get into- I, I'm not- that's, I'm, I really want to play the main quest, but I'm so curious about this. Okay. Purchase. Okay. Let's go. No, I'm not gonna be able to buy it! No! Wait, am I? I can! Okay. Let's go. Oh. Oh, you've seen the curio called the door to a new world. I heard a space station a couple times. It looks exactly like the toilet's commonly seen with its exterior porcelain and flushing system on the inside. Its method of spatial transference is unknown, but at least you haven't been teleported off the space station. Is its lack of power the only reason? Please choose. Efficiency is increased with more flushes. Think up and you have someone else flush the toilet. Uh, let's do this. Let's see. Oh. Teleported to the blue! Where am I going? Where am I going? Okay. The end. Yo, okay. Congratulations on reaching your end point. Okay. Uh, uh, there's... Oh! Okay, I'm gonna find out who I'm like. I would like to inv invite you to participate in the following trailblazer. Okay. Okay, begin test. There's a new ghost story floating about in the space station. Unknowingly, you also accepted a mission from Adler. <laughs> when faced with a mission that doesn't pique your interest, but must be completed nonetheless, how will you choose? I'll, I'll do the mission anyway. Trailblazers work in mysterious ways. 
You've learned some fresh gossip about the space station from Richard and Know It All, and it's related to lead researcher Asta. He asked you not to tell anyone, but you think you can't get a peep out of me. It, it's I'm gonna go with this. It's not actually that I would sell information, but it's more like there are some people who deserve to know. Nonetheless, I might actually go tell Asta. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You and Arlen are having a disagreement on which route to walk Peppy. Which guy should you do? Um, yeah, let's ask Peppy. Peppy can Peppy can do the thing. You already know that even geniuses will fight among themselves, or it can be said that they don't see the direction the moon is going. How do you solve the, solu the situation? Um... <laughs> I am destruction. Current progress, 4 out of 50! Got it. Alright. Survey progress. I've gotta keep playing to do the thing! Oh, that's a cool little impressionistic thing of the train. Ho! Oh. Go take a look. It's changed the buffs? Oh, this is amazing. I love this. Okay, okay, we've made it to Bellabog. Bus obtained. Okay. We'll go claim. Nice. Pog. Wonderful. Can I- wait, can I do reward? Claim you. Great. Nice. Okay. We've made it to Bellabog. I will do the rest of this later. Later. Cause that's a lot of stuff. Alright, thanks Mag. Appreciate you. Why is everything crackly? See that? I think you see that. Okay. Wonderful. What is over here? Oh, that's just that. We won't worry about that. Guys, it's time to get into the story quest. I am I am so incredibly prepared. So I believe last last thing that happened was we found out that Robin is dead, right? Apparently. My friend has a similar problem. It's it's okay. It's probably it's probably something to do with the game, maybe. Or maybe it's just my computer. Here we go. Where where are you adventuring? Alright. It's time to see what's going on here. I would like to remind you, once again, no spoilers in chat. You will get timed out. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, friend. Ah. Uh, expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Didn't you do it? Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. Okay, then where is she in reality? Yeah, it's a could Robin. It's it's how is that possible? I don't think it's real. Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm okay. Just an unlucky bystander here. I very, very much don't funny. believe you. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IPC, so they'd never lie. Oh, don't worry, I will. This is not where the crime happened. Okay. What I showed you was a memory, the most basic light cone manifesting tag. Ha! Yes. By the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Okay, that was something that. Hasn't been like really super confirmed, but they're like confirming it more with the light cone thing I also learned that like one of my theories on YouTube once again Don't put the don't do not put spoilers because other people might not know and I still want to experience it by myself I learned that one of them got confirmed and one of them is on the right track um, So we'll see Did you really think the galaxy hmm. rangers were outsiders this whole time? I mean they kind of just keep to themselves don't they? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person A family dream? What is the difference between the family and the dream wake? To reality. Any person in distress will be forcibly awake and is safely returned to reality. Okay. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Okay. Because behind this promise is the harmony. Families dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Okay. They do. 
breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. So either the death came from the family, or it came from within the dreamscape itself, which, which I believe it's linked to Misha somehow. Either Misha or Sunday. So you could have done it, friend. The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. I don't believe that for a second. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. She is hiding things, but I don't think that's one of them. For one thing, there is nothing in the design. Going meta. Nothing in the design of the of the thingy. The thingy thing. The memetic entity. That makes me think that it's linked to Acheron. And for another... From everything I've seen of her, she doesn't seem to be, like, a truly malicious player in any of this. She is just, like, she's the fairy man more than she is someone who kills, you know? Is what it feels like. Is That's how she talks about it. Or if she has to do something, she's going to do it directly. If Ritz's death was a foregone conclusion. If Ritz... Oh, yeah. Her. Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Hmm. Yeah, this is just one side of the story. I, I don't trust. I don't trust Aventurin's perception. I trust... I think he believes he's telling the truth. I'm not gonna call him a liar. But I don't think he has the full story. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. I will say, as far as, like, his tone and everything that's happening here, the vibe that I was getting, the first update, like, 2.0, was that he was lying about everything. But I'm not getting that now. I'm not getting that now from him. Um, has to do with the delivery and the tone and all of that, but it's Just like... Just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panicone. I understand that. Everyone's got their own agenda. Including you. Including me, I should say. But. Careful Hello. Hey, Chubbs, how are you doing? Welcome to stream. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. Hmm. After all, any schemes... Thank you for the follow! I see you! Better than a monster in the shadows. Any schemes on the open... That is true. But I don't believe she's a monster. Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? I don't know who I trust less in this situation. Black Swan or Aventurin. Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Okay. Aventurin is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. Okay. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. Okay, you would know. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Okay, the two of them collaborating on a lie makes it... is is a lot less likely than Aventure and just freaking lying. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is... Oh, yellow text. I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. I'm a lot more open to that now than I was when we first arrived on Pentacone. I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. Okay. I just came to Pentacone for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC. Your stones, the right? The the heckin' the the cornerstones. This frontier prison. You're taking no. No, you're not. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again. So they're in they debt to the IPC again? You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before. Ha. Huh. So they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Good to know. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever been the wiser. That's not really- but they've got the Charmony Festival coming up. Everyone's expecting Robin. That's not fair, right? No, it's not. So then, friend, I need your help. I hesitate to call you a friend, but... 
Sure. What's going on? The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Okay. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Okay. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. I still am not entirely sure she's dead, but... Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. Okay. So what I see is that this is mutually beneficial. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. It would. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. If the IPC already knows, we can help the family help the IPC help us. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. Mm-hmm. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. Hmm. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. Okay. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. You want to take advantage of that? Yeah, that's pretty much what he's asking. This, yeah, I need to talk with Himiko and Mr. Welt and um, March before giving a final thing, but I'm not entirely opposed to this. Yeah, I will. That navigator is really smart. She is. She must understand the value of this deal. We'll Look. see. Here's my contact details. Okay. You come to any I've got a Venturin's phone number, guys. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. How much so is long, this? Friend, I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. I am too. How much did you give me? A Venturin just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. Yeah, it's weird. What now? What are your plans? I'm not gonna tell you. Black Swan. What is she thinking? How much did you give me? 50,000. Okay, that's not a bad... Thief of Doom, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, I'm gonna do a poll real quick. I'm gonna do a 10 poll, guys. I'm scared. I really want Acheron, and I'm, like, at 52 pity right now. I'm scared. I don't want to lose this. Ah! Uh... Okay, we're not even there yet. It's okay. It's okay. Can I get Gallagher, though? That would be amazing. Can I please have a Gallagher? Give me the guy. Give me the dude. Give me the man. Don Hung! I, I already have a Don. I, my Don Hung is maxed. Gallagher? Gallagher? Gallagher! I'm so sorry. I've got the man! I've got the dude! I saw you playing Zio. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. F Mart. Hello! Broken both mentally and in my wallet. I am free to play, mostly. Mostly. Okay, 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 okay. Where's my, where's the guy? Where is he? Where he be? There he is! Ah! I love him. He's so cool. Look at his costume! He's got the gear there. He's got the, he's got the, oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you wore <laughs> free to play? I don't have the money to be anything else right now, otherwise I would. Let's go, uh, let me see. Details, level up, auto add. Ho! Oh, ascend. Intuition, instinct. Training can sharpen them both. He is awesome. He is awesome. We're gonna we're gonna just level him up as far as we can with what we have, and we will deal with the rest of that later. Ascend. Ah! I don't have the thing. Dang it. Okay. Uh, claim. Thank you, Gallagher. See, I have been excited for him since before I knew about Acheron. Okay. 
let me quickly go. Starlight Exchange, we're gonna get that. We're gonna go Ember's Exchange. We're gonna get over here, we're gonna go like this. Grab two of those. We'll probably be able to do another 10 pull by the end of the stream. Um, in the meantime, we've got a single on the on the standard banner. It's paper. That's not bad, though. Oh my gosh. Love him. Okay, let's go, let's go. Ugh, speak with Black Swan. Black Swan, I severely dislike you after, after what you pulled last update. But let's talk. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. I'm aware of that. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on. And deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death. To try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. Yeah. I can, I, here's the thing. When it comes to this, I have no doubt that Robin, quote unquote, died in the dream. Just like Firefly did. But real life Robin, there's, there may be something else going on. Again, no spoilers. Spoilers get timed out. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool. Mm-hmm. And working with him definitely has its dangers. I know. Yeah, for Firefly's sake, I want to get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna- I will do everything for Firefly. Playing it safe seems to be the smarter move. I'll as say this. As far as things are presently concerned, yes. But what about the long term? In the long term, the dream would become more and more unstable. The IPC would become more and more desperate to collect their debts from Pentacony. Death would cause more and more deaths. And what about you? Why are you still here, Black Swan? Anyway, be careful out there. Stephensburg, thank you so much for the follow. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of followers. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As yeah. The other questions. Hey, just the king. Gonna lurk to avoid spoilers. Hope you're having fun with the story. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Did death kill Robin? Not sure the two cases were committed by the See, that was my thought. It looks like a wound looked like its winged blade. Yeah. We've all witnessed it in action before. Yes. See, that was another thought of mine where I was like, it's so oh, it's it looks the same. Plus, it looks the same. That there would be two lethal entities loose in the Yeah, one would be difficult enough if what if what Aventurin said is true. Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. <laughs> we know from this, know from the anim animations that answer. we know from the animations that Black Swan can't just look into her memories like she can with the rest of us. Uh, she'll get freaking sucked into the black hole that sits in Acheron's mind, our mysterious queen. Yeah. But without a doubt. She's the most special guest at this banquet. Uh-huh. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Which means I'm going to do exactly the opposite. Because, regardless of what everyone else has told me about Acheron, Acheron herself has never lied to us that we know of. That we know of. Everything that we know about her was told to us. By other people. And all of that turned out to be false, cause, so it seems just to be a product of other people's misconceptions. Acheron doesn't go around talking about herself. So. Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Did the thing go on a killing spree? Or did something take advantage of it dying, of it killing, in order to kill Robin? Two possibilities. Yeah. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Okay. Or 
Everything has been planned out and executed by someone. I am more likely to believe the second one there. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity. Smuggler? Then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. What, smug- smuggler? The word wasn't smuggler. It was stowaway. Why are they calling Firefly a smuggler now? I'm sorry. You know more than you're telling. You know more than you're telling, Black Swan. It's all happened so quickly. I can only make conjecture. Sealed lips, yeah. As you're leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Don't worry. I will. Leads you through the chaotic dreamscape. Okay. Come this way. Okay. Take a short walk. Don't get lost. I'm not getting lost. This is where Sam was first time around. There's something significant about that thing on the wall. That right there. There's something significant, because if you stand next to it, it there's something- there's something weird about it. It's all psychedelic and crazy. Also, why is that broken? Huh. Alright. This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like... a nightmare. <laughs> Nightmares are dreams too, I guess. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. It was and framed a certain way, though. Minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. Thought you was talking about something we different. Never mind. This world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Let's make them good ones, ah, then, yeah. Hold on, just a sec. Looks when jelly touches the root of your ear, huh? There you go. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, what? A memo keeper to join you. Hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. I would have appreciated a heads up so I could freaking refuse that. I also I don't want you in my head, girl. Of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Ha, huh, a Let's dance, possibly? There, shall we? What fascinating memories will I don't actually want to know. Time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Good grief. This girl! Oh, my phone appeared. So the home uh, that we got separated. Feel so antsy. Help, Marsh, stay calm. Do I need to get off the express and help? Oh, Don. If Don ends up with us on this thing, I would love that. Don Hong, by the way, is my favorite character. I love the Sienja LeFou arc, and oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got a soft spark for the for the dark haired tragedy boy. Oh my gosh. You meet the Reverie Hotel's real world is very calm. Not much is happening. My sister. Okay, where are you guys? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Did she? Sorry about what happened to Firefly. The scene has been cordoned off by the family. We're wrapping up negotiations. Meet near the clocky statue. Okay. A family rep. Is Himiko okay? Fate's epistle. Huh? What is this? Fate's epistle. Oh, okay. Parting gift from the Black Swan. Tiny, a tiny card numbered zero. Seemingly absent from Black Swan's collection. In the card's art, she casts her gaze into the midst of destiny. If one day- Okay. Hey, thank you for the hyd hydrate. Appreciate it. Alright. I don't trust Black Swan one bit. Oh my gosh. It seems I have no choice. Ah! I was not looking where I was going. It is. 
So this is... Somewhere along this route is the place that was featured in... Um, no, yeah, it's right here. This was uh, Acheron's trailer. Except that up there was a screen. Good, not a spoiler, just a black swan hater. <laughs> People act like she's just some neutral observer and I'm the same as you. It's like, no, she's totally not a neutral observer. She pretends to be. Oh, I don't like her. I mean, okay, she's pretty. I think that she is a very interesting person. But, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, she is pulling some shady stuff. So much has happened. Okay. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Okay. Gathering my thoughts. Thoughts are gathering. Some time ago, deep in the memory zone. Oh! Oh! This is what happened after we left! Oh! Still dream hunter. Of those slain by your hand. <gasps> Hello, Sam, my boy. Days ago, the Everflame Mansion. No spoilers. Duke Inferno. It appears the outcome has already been determined. We're still alive. As are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. So she stole their music box. I just noticed she has snake skin on her arm. Just like in the, the, the animation, the, the snake and the swan. The Taurus fire demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Exactly. You'll tread the narrow path. No, yeah, it's this... Uh, if my reading of the data files has lent me any perspective, it's that most people who follow destruction have some kind of ulterior motive. Whether it be revenge, or conquest, or fame and glory. The destruction only seems to honor those who truly only want destruction for the sake of destruction. It also looks like a bird's foot on the back of her head. Interesting. You claim to follow destruction, but haven't destroyed yourself. <laughs> destruction is not a healthy path to follow, shall we say. We come from the fire, and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and Mm-hmm. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Hmm. I mean, fair, but also. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn. Just like I'm gonna actually check. I'm getting pinged on Discord. Still young, I don't them. I guess I'm not. And time is running out. So he's like, he's dying anyway. The planet of festivities in the distance. I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. Well, unfortunately, you never get the chance, my guy. Because on the path they have. They as in the destruction? Or they as in the nihility or something else entirely? You cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword. 
Yeah, we've not seen her even draw her sword in game. We've seen it in some of the stuff surrounding it, but not the thing. He's choosing his own destruction. Destruction is intense, but grief. To grieve and recling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. My man, you are incredibly ironically nihilistic. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer. Just as you exist, everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. I think I can think of a few exceptions. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. <laughs> I love these lines. Oh my gosh. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. Hmm. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's bright. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but perhaps out of reciprocity. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. Aha. Uh -huh. So a, a moment of respect. Is not the path I truly follow. Aha. Uh -huh. May death be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. Oh. Hold it. Time hasn't come yet. What are we seeing? My time. What the heck? I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. But they can never cover up who a person really is. Oh. No different. Oh. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. Yes. You did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? <laughs> Yeah, why did you want them away? I want to know, Firefly. Did Destiny Slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I want to know more about Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. Death? And until then... Elio is sus, kind of. Destiny's cat. I'm currently wearing a t-shirt that has a, an awesome cat on it, and I always call it my Elio shirt because it's just a picture of just a slender-looking cat on this black shirt. Just the white outline so that he's kind of like filled in with just the rest of the shirt. And it's, and it's, my, it's, my, it's my Elio shirt. Still no spoilers, guys. I know that I've that I'm given some stuff, but just just don't. Exactly are you? Oh, I want to know. I was expecting a fight to the death that we got pulled out of. That's not what I asked. We want to know who you are. You gonna say your name? Is she riding May? Is she gonna actually- is that actually who she is in this universe? I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Fair enough. Take me. It's I'm sad. I'm by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. She still has not answered the question. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? 
sure hope Elio turns out. Wouldn't that be so amazing if, like, they open up portions of the map that we haven't been able to before because we can switch between human and cat appearances or something along those lines? I was once wanted... Oh, thank you so much for the translation. I appreciate it. The game is barely audible. Anyone else having this problem? Because I can turn it up. Hanu, but cat, so better. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Hanu, but cat. Here. Yes, it's quiet. Okay, I have just turned it up a little bit, so hopefully that's better. I, I actually... I to forget things. How's that? Which is why... I actually went through and tested this before stream to make sure I got the volume correct, and I guess I did not. A little better? Oh, gosh. Let me just do this. Actually, let me get to the end of this cutscene, and then I'll do it. That's it, like a clip in the background. That cold armor. Yes! Give us, give us, give, give it to us. Please. Please. How about it? Ready to... Take off that armor and sit down for a talk. And Genshin doesn't mean Acheron's eye? Maybe. It's not yet time. I don't need help. But I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. Okay, give me just a second, guys. I'm going to turn it up in a, in a... I'm going to use a different uh, way of doing it. For some reason, my volume is just strange. I've been trying to do this. I've had friends help me with this. I don't know what is going on with my volume. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Oh, we're gonna learn the background of the dreamscape. Yes. I love, I love mechanics. But they're burying the past and the truth about what happened <laughs> inside the dreamscape. Oh, I'm so excited. This is like a full on, like a fishing clip thingy. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I like Sam more and more. <laughs> I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. We're not an enemy of his either. Not or hers. Nice the trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. And here, here it comes to it. Didn't realize until the moment that he said it, Sam is the only person that could convince me, genuinely, to just follow the plan entirely. The only person. I trust Sam. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am, confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's a hint that we will eventually end up going against the script. It's gonna be That's interesting. It. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? Oh, I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that. <laughs> Maybe that's a point for her being I in this world. Get the Ashley Express to join in tracking down the legacy. Centauri, you are amazing. Thank you. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. All right. I knew it. Hang on. Interesting. So she's not part of this anymore. I... Don't. Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? Hmm. I don't. Never have. Maybe you just don't know the difference anymore, Sam. Sammy. <laughs> I was born without the ability to dream. That's right. I the Glamoth soldiers. For this cold, harsh reality. For a little light. And to burn. 
to keep on burning until I turn to ash. Gives me another point against genetic modification. I know it's all, I know it's all, what do you call it? Um, fiction. But whenever the stories of like genetic modification of people come up, and, and that's the whole point of the Glamour Soldiers, they were genetically mod modified humans. Whenever those stories come up, it's always this. And it's like, if you're modifying someone genetically, you're modifying them for a purpose. And humans, they deserve the, the right, they have the right to choose their own purpose, you know? To cripple that in any way by making them what you want as a fellow human, you shouldn't have the right to choose that for someone else. So yeah. Just wanna give them a hug. Same. Say you're, you're, you deserve more than burning. You deserve more than a destiny of ashes. I want him to have more than that. So, I really envy you. Hmm. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. <laughs> Poor Sam. Present day, Golden Hour. Are, are we back to us? Oh, just a second. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. But we never expected Miss Robin to... Alright, I'm back. Okay, we heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. We never expected Miss Robin to... Oh, gosh. I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. It's okay. I had a small panic attack, but I was fine. By the way, um, has Clocky always been black? I thought he was gold. He was gold. I put him in one of my videos. I pulled out that clip specifically because he was so shiny and pretty. Why is he, why is he covered in paint? So is Robot Guy evil or no? He's not. No, no, no. Robot Guy is not. Robot Guy... I'll give you back down. I'll give you a rundown. Robot Guy Sam is one of the Stellaron Hunters, and the Stellaron Hunters were the group that we were with. Us, the main character. Before we joined the Ashville Express, we also have Amnesia, so we don't actually remember being with them, but we know that we were with them. Um, and they were Kafka, Silver Wolf, Elio, Blade, and Sam. And Sam, as far as we know at this point, was the person we were closest to. Because we had a, a beginning of this thing where we actually played with Sam and we went all around the place. But Sam was disguised as someone else. Um, at least that's my belief. It hasn't been like truly confirmed, but it's like getting more and more evidence behind it as I'm watching it. Do not spoil it for me, guys. I have like, it's, I'm, I'm wanting to experience it completely. Um, um, if it's true or not, just don't say anything. Don't say anything. I think the statue gets upgraded. I can't confirm this, but at some point the statue had coins all over it. Oh, interesting. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. So yeah, to continue the point, Hengri, um, Sam has been fighting against us. We are kind of in opposition to the Stellaron Hunters now, but we occasionally join forces with them. And in this one, Sam was against the people that we were teamed up with at the time, but they did nothing to hurt us. And then we got pulled out of the, the battle by a third party. And then the Acheron Sam interaction is what happened after we left, basically. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Mm -hmm. Let's recap everything then. We need to track down the, the meme. The laser just reminded me of something. March. Do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Yeah, we didn't meet the family rep. Who were they? Uh, indeed, we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. So they don't even know who and died? That's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. 
So they want to keep this under wraps as much as possible. And they're going to keep us going off on a wild goose chase for things that they think we don't know yet, which we do. They, they think we don't know who Firefly is. They think we don't know about Robin's death. So what they're doing is they're trying to get us to go after Firefly's identity, which actually has nothing to do with the main plot at the moment. Or it wouldn't if she weren't Sam. I think she's Sam. The family's planning on covering up all exactly. the about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penaconi's going to turn into a bloodbath. So we've got to be careful about it. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. Uh-huh. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. Oh yeah, I'll bet they're just absolutely drowning in things to do. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. Mm -hmm. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. That sounds reasonable. It's a very good strategy by the family if they're trying to cover things up. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. So they're basically confirming. The first protective measures. Thank you so much for the follow, Sylveon. Among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Uh huh, adventurin. Yeah. So they're basically drawing attention to this over and over and over that Robin was not killed by the by death. I like that better than the mimetic entity or meme. I genuinely... <laughs> meme feels weird. It's going from work. Hope you're liking the story so far. I am. I am. I'm right here at the beginning. Next time there's an update, I am going to, like, start my stream much earlier in the day and then just stream for the whole day. I think is what's going to happen. Um, nature of the two murders. Family, uh, the family's protect first protective measures should be against malicious actors among the guests. Yeah, he's he's more worried about Acheron yeah. right now, it seems. He was particularly concerned about that galaxy ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? I trust her more than I trust him. At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Actually, you're right, Himiko. Look. Let's try to gather intel first, and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. You know what's crazy? I actually trust Elio fairly well in this situation. We've had several encounters with people who are going by Elio's orders in this, and every single time, Elio's scripts always seem to try and avoid the loss of life, and lead to a conclusion that is beneficial for most people in the situation. So yeah, <laughs> interesting. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's yeah. Like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Where is this legacy? I trust Kafka, I swear it's not because I love her, but that too. I don't trust Kafka one bit. But when she's working on behalf of Elio, I trust Elio. Really interesting. I can't wait to learn the details of the grand plan as we progress. Yeah, because here's the thing. I want to say that I trust them completely. And in most situations, I do. So I should amend my statement when I say I trust them. In most situations, I do trust Elio. Because I've just seen the patterns of how his plans tend to work out. Is It's... It's always evasive rather than offensive. It is always trying to help people. That's how it always ends up. Like there is a fundamental sus to destiny. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, Elio, he, he seems to be... I want to say I trust him. But it is possible that all of these plans that he's been putting in place are things which are currently beneficial to everyone involved. But... There may be something further down the line that they have a bigger objective. That means that we, that like, we don't actually know their objective and it might, the end result might actually not be as good as the things happening on the line. I don't know. Kafka's companion quest made me trust her implicitly. I don't, tr I don't at all. I don't care if she is, if she is our quote unquote mother. I don't trust her. 
I have some thoughts on that. I'll say that right here. I think we were a genetic experiment, guys. I, that's that's my thing. I'll make a video on this eventually, but I think that the Trailblazer was a genetic experiment because Kafka was one-fourth of our genetic code, basically. Could Elio be a nameless? That is very possible. Elio could be um, Akivili. Maybe. Um, but, yeah, I think that we were a genetic experiment made by putting together all four of the of the um Stellaron. so silver wolf kafka blade and sam we kind of share what do you call it we kind of have um characteristics of all four of them you know like like silver wolf is a gamer so are we one of our main things is we've got our little phone out and we're, and we're tapping it along um when it comes to Blade, we are extremely, we, um, Blade was made using the flesh of an emanator, right? And that makes him very, very resilient to specific things, yeah? And to death, and that could explain our resilience. So I believe Kafka is one of our, is, is, is one fourth of our genetic code, obviously. I believe Blade is one of the other fourths, definitely. We've got fireflies and silver wolf's gray hair. And so, yeah, it's just it's just fascinating. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're spinning around the legacy even after everything that's happened, yeah. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. Yeah, we've got to but find out. Before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. Yeah, they don't they seem to. trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's, in all likelihood, a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that aventurine... Mm hmm Well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's... We are the power... <laughs> we are the power of friendship! <laughs> He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. Yeah. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Is he desperate or just good at what he does? Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Mm hmm. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. That's that's true. As long as we can convince him that he's acting in his own best interests, I'm sure that we can get him to do anything we want. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Yeah, the family is obviously. The IPC hmm. helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting a Venturine's proposal to team up? I think we have to. Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. Yeah, that's very good um, thoughts on Welt's part there. It's like we, we literally don't know enough to really make any proper judgments right now. Everything's why, gray. But there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now. Hey, I did I fine. It anymore. Yeah, it's fine. I got got a lot out of him too. Yep. <laughs> uh, you? No, I can't accept this. March, just just take a deep breath. You're okay. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Yeah, he invited us to do that if we wanted. Then, could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Okay. I'll reply to him. We'll collaborate. The response came faster than I expected. Yeah, it wasn't a terribly long discussion, all things considered. Small something for our upcoming... The... That's a lot of money. Oh my gosh. Ask me to sing a song? <laughs> Daddy off Xander Howley? What? Oh my gosh, just a second. I'm afraid I don't know that, so I can't sing it. 
<laughs> I apologize. Oh my gosh. How do I- how do I- it's- oh goodness. I'll give you your points back, but I can't at the moment. I'm so sorry, oh my gosh. Here, let me do a thing real quick. I've got to pull up uh, my stuff on Twitch. Yeah, that's the thing. I've got that there for people to redeem if they want, but at the same time, my knowledge of music is shockingly limited. Especially considering that I, like, I am a professional musician. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where is it? Oh, Whispers Reward Request Queue. There we go. Um. Up, 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 up. There you go. You got your stuff back. Hey, Moogieverse! How are you doing? Welcome to stream! Welcome to stream! Alright. Okay, Aventurine. Looks like Aventurine is happy with this outcome. I guess so. Let's tell everyone about it. Okay, let me do a thing real quick. I want to take a look at this. I've got 3,560 clocky bucks and nowhere to spend them. Do you play an instrument? I play the heckin' voice, and I also kind of play piano. Yeah. What happened to my voice there? I'm not confident in my piano playing, but I do play piano. I really love clocky. I really love clocky. <laughs> Clocky's freaky. Clocky sus. Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. Yep. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. It's a huge gamble, which seems to be his style, but also... Is that really smart? The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. Yeah. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Possibly Robin's death? We'll use it as a bargaining chip? An attack mm. on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Penacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take light. That's fair enough. Aventurine He's a gotcha player. Good. He's a gambler. <laughs> He doesn't know that. Yeah. He seems smart enough. He's definitely going for the family. And it's just a matter of how. Yeah. The harmony is strong in Penacony. Yeah. Almost impossible to take on head to head. Yeah. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book. Yeah, he is not the person you send if you want things to go to go completely and totally smoothly Jane has devoted considerable attention to her but this galaxy ranger yeah we know hardly anything about her i can't rush to any conclusions unfortunately that describes our situation with literally every player in this grand chess game hmm. i was also considering this possibility i don't think that especially moves him any closer to his end though he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. I don't know why he respects Perhaps me. He's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. Yeah. If he respects me, I'm not sure to take that as a compliment. I, I, I might take it as the opposite. I'm just speculating. Yeah, we can't draw Anyways, any conclusions. We have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. That's true. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. <laughs> Hashtag gotcha player. Alright. Mr. Yang, I could use some, some grandfatherly advice at the moment. Help. Aventurine said something that concerns me. Oh, oh. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. He either knows more than he's letting on, which I think is pretty much assumed, or he didn't know. It was a groundless accusation. Yeah. Which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Yeah. One thing we do know about 
Acheron, and she doesn't kill without meaning. Everything is going to come to an end eventually, but I mean, it's not... She doesn't seem to be the one to hasten that. He's Maybe bluffing. Venturine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. The bigger explosion he can create when it comes to disrupting the family's operation, I think that's all he wants. However, I asked... Did you pull for Akron already? I am... I pulled... I did a 10 pull? I'm currently at like 62 pity then. It wasn't Just a little over 60? Made up out of thin air. Yeah. Huh. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Ooh, good question. Um, she's very powerful. Yeah. What? That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. Ha. Huh. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a. Suspect. Look at that. I, I can't say anything. This is this is like what happened with this is like what happened with Heckin with Heckin Ron May. Hmm, both of them are maze. And so am I. <laughs> I'm... There's not a thought behind those eyes. Except why can't I remember? Why, why can't I remember? Huh? Why, huh? Not a thought. Not a singular thought. Aid. You okay, March? I think March is having a hard time, guys. Hey, March. Dementia. I think it's called amnesia. She is staring into our souls. Emma May is an Emma. There's there's a reason why it's called an Emma Nader. <laughs> no, of course I'm not. I'm not the first Emma Nader named May. That's for sure. You okay, March? That place is going to be important. Next update. March, are you okay? March, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about all this. I know it's tough I on you. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually I'm gonna, dead. There are new people here, so I have to explain a thing. Well. Somewhere. Yeah, same. But everything's just some horrible prank. So this is either confirmation... Or they're saying, nah, this is not what's going on. Okay, yeah, by the way, <laughs> I love Acheron. And there's a reason why I love Acheron. If it were any other character, I'd just kind of be like, meh, her design's kind of cool. It's cool. Here's the thing. Six months before I became a streamer, aka almost three years ago now, I wrote a story about a character who was a, a dimension hopper. She would travel between dimensions. Oh, also she had amnesia. Oh, also she had a knife, which holds memories. And open circular portals sometimes, being similar to a black hole. So, naturally, I started playing Genshin Impact, and I'm like, oh, hey, I kind of like this Raiden, this Raiden Shogun character. She looks a little bit like me. She's got the long, dark hair. This is long before the game came out, by the way. Um, she's got the long, dark hair. Oh my goodness, purple is my color, and she's got a six sword, and she's so cool. She's OP, and she's got lightning. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, this is amazing. And that was, and then I found out, oh my goodness, she's a dimension hopping amnesiac with a sword that's hold, that holds memories and occasionally opens portals. So, so, who stole the idea from who? Because I didn't know about this game until long after I wrote this story. So basically, I'm Acheron. What do you think about that? <laughs> Like, like, genuinely, and our names are even the same. It's, it's freaking May. Our names are even the same. So I have, I have no idea where that came from. Like, genuinely, this is just some weird, freaky coincidence. But the more we learn about Akron, there are things that I can't even tell you guys because it would spoil some story things that I've got planned for, like, my character. I play her in every game that I go into. Emma and Akron were never seen in the same at the same time I'd see. Yeah, exactly, exactly. 
It's like my character even went through a phase where she had white hair. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's uncanny at this point. Uncanny. It just keeps happening. And the more we learn about Acheron, the more it lines up. I am Acheron. It's like, it's so weird. I'm having my own story told to me. Because aren't we supposed yeah. to be inside a dream? That's what I'm thinking too much! Die in a beautiful dreamscape like this. Shouldn't only good things happen here? Well, nightmares are dreams too. Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Is the Grand Theater? The, 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 uh, hmm. The coincidences are coincidenting. They are. They are. You know, I want to say, do we think that the, the, the family's behind this? Because that's where my brain goes right now. Because the theater is the thing in the ba the ba. Did the character have something related to the number nine, though? No. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I'll have to go back through my notes from two years ago. I'll have to dig through my old journals. I think what March needs to hear right now is we're going to restore the dream. We've got this, March. Don't worry. We'll do this. Yeah, of course. At times like this, we're so lucky to have our crew. We are, though. The family and the IPC. Everyone has their own plans going on. But we can trust each other, right? Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. I would just want to give her a big old hug and make her laugh. Robin and us. We're all outsiders from another world. Like, we all don't belong here. This place wasn't meant for sad things to happen. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Well, let's go get some Soul Glad then, girl. Oh, by the way, found out. Soul Glad is just orange juice and Sprite. I had some recently, and it is fan-freaking-tastic. I want it again. Uh, but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Uh. Nothing wrong with that when you need to escape a little bit, March. Be kind to yourself. Looks like eventually Give yourself that. Need anything else. You'll try it then? Yeah, it's Let's really good. To the family's assignment for now. Okay. Imiko, what do you think? Okay. Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. Mm hmm One thing I'm curious about is... If a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? That is the best thing Seeing to center on. Family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. Good. Okay, yeah, I have seen people make Soul Glad with orange juice and like Coke or Pepsi or root beer, but I tried it with Sprite. It's so good. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Will you do another theory? Oh, I plan on continuing the theory videos. I did not expect those to be such a hit, but like I've been making theories. That's just like my natural state. Whatever story I'm looking at, if there's any kind of cliffhanger, I'm immediately going to like theory mode in my brain. Um, this was just like the first time, like this within the past month was the first time that I did it um, in a video. And so now that I know that there's a market for that and that people really enjoy that and it's also like really fun for me to make them, I want to do more. So yes, I will be making more videos. Um, like I said, I already want to make one about the origins of the trailblazer, about the genetic experiment. Um, but I also would love a little more information to put in that video. I feel like we need more evidence for that theory. Because right now, I've just got what Kafka said. I could right now make enough for, like, a short. Easily. But I want more. It feels like a longer video. Very fun to see. Yeah, I didn't expect people to have so many different ideas. Honkai Impact lore video incoming. I want to, but I just started Honkai Impact, okay? Like, literally, where, where am I in the storyline? I am with Teresa in the synthesized reality thingy where we go and look for Kiana's 
father, yeah? Yeah. In the archive books, you might more info. I've looked through most of the archives, yeah. Um, there's really not a whole lot about our origins, but we'll find out more. As I get more information, I'm just kind of like stockpiling information about that video because it's one that I really want to make. I also want to make one about um, where Akivili went because I don't believe he's dead. I don't. He fell, yes, but I don't believe he's dead. And there are a handful of characters that he could be. One of them, obviously, Elio. We mentioned that earlier in the stream. Um, I'm at chapter 15, so I haven't played a lot more. It's totally fine. I get it. Um, I'm like a chapter 6. Um, but... Another person that, like, for some reason keeps popping into my head that could be Akivili. And I don't have evidence for this, is the problem, but it's just, like, it keeps, like, poking my brain. Is freaking Sampo Koski. Which would be hilarious because he's insufferable. <laughs> Imagine the Eon that we follow. We actually meet him and it's like, oh my gosh, dude, I hate you. <laughs> I don't actually hate Sampo. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I used to. I don't anymore. Sampo has to have a major role. Yeah, because he keeps following us around a different place. He keeps following us around to different places. And he keeps, like, being important in each of those places. And it's like, dude, do you ever take a break? Okay, there we go. Just need to text my mom something. X9 Acheron slash stream. Oh! Raiden May, I am MMA confirmed, same person. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's why you said nine. I always pronounce it as Ix, and so I forget. Um, but, okay, yes, there is a connection to Ix. I actually have a whole big ol' theory. It's like a couple pages handwritten. Um, of, like, like how my character is connected to Nihility. It's amazing. I know people like Zip a lot, but I really can't stand him. See, I started off that way, but the more that I'm around him, I'm like, oh my goodness, he's actually... He definitely looks out for his own self-interests. But we've seen a few situations where he doesn't. He seems to, like, actually have some genuine care for us. And it's good. He has someone going on me. Yeah, me too, me too. Okay. Uh, how about we split off into two groups? Okay, so... Hey, Matt! Welcome to stream! Now the question is, will Emma... Will Emma's hair turn? It's my character's hair... Actually, I had a whole phase planned where she does. It's kind of up in the air now, because a lot of things changed recently. Hey, thank you so much for the lurk, Matt. I will do the thing. Hmm. Woe Health Be Upon Thee is something that actually Matt started because they're a regular viewer. Drink, posture check, and stretch. Hoi! Okay. So, ha two of us are going to be in the dreamscape, two of us are going to be in reality. Who's going to stay with Mr. Welp? Worth focusing on. Oh. oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. What's going on with Himiko? Why is her voice so low? Usually it's up here and it's a lot nicer, but now it's down here. Is she just tired? Or is something going on? But it seems like there's something that Welt hasn't told us that Himiko knows a little bit about. Huh? Aww. I thought I'd finally get to see Himiko and Mr. Yang go together. Mom and Dad. Take care then, Mr. Yang. Okay, Mr. Yang. Mom and Dad. I will. Keep in touch. I want to learn more about Mr. Yang, because I know that he's from Honkai Impact Third. He's he's also not a variant. He's actually from that universe. Oh, we get to be with Mr. Yang today? Hmm. He's just I love him. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Where are you? Who is it? I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. <laughs> He's like, you were listening the whole time. How dare you? Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Now, this is interesting because I don't know the story of Honkai Impact 3rd beginning to end. But he's from Honkai Impact 3rd. And so is she. She is a variant, I think. He is not. She, if she isn't a variant, doesn't remember him, but he would remember her, right? 
both of them are were Hershers. He still is, technically. So what's going on? First Void Archives. I don't know anything about the Void Archives. Please. Please, no spoilers for Honkai Impact Third a little bit. I'm I'm prefacing things with spoilers a little bit. Ugh. Welt. She knows the name Welt. Now is the Welt you're thinking of Welt Joyce or Welt Yang? Is there something about my name? Yes. First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. He's not her giving her a chance to say her actual name. Acroni. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the annihilation game. Part of me really wants to cosplay her. The banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. That's not her style, one bit. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic pathstrider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Did they really think? Yeah, she surprised me in his scene in the. Yeah. Black hole you're wielding. It feels like a, a bit of a wasted character now that we know a little bit more about Ifrit. He got bodied and turned into a relic. I like that guy. Maybe we'll learn more about him in the future. Who knows? There are plenty of suspects in fact. Do you really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole? <laughs> she knows. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this king. So you must surely know Miss Acheron that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable <laughs> depths. Oh my goodness. Don't, Sylvia, no spoilers. You will get timed out. Don't even, don't even go there. This, this situation between Acheron and Welt just got heckin' real. I do not ever want Welt to look at me that way. This is two black holes staring each other down. Literally. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. <laughs> I'm so glad he's on our side. <laughs> Wonder how we would do against Acheron. Oh my gosh. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. All right, tell us, Acheron. Give us the information. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old, final request. Wait. A f an old, final re Like, someone else's? Or is this, like, the end of the journey for you? I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? He knows. He knows. That I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. She's immortal. Dang, the person people who are writing this really was doing it right. They really were. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <laughs> so she's seen straight through us as well. Is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? 
She cares. She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Mm, I am fine. Thank you. On how much you're willing to reveal. Okay. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. Okay. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize. What did you come to realize, Acheron? The secret of Panacone. Maybe closely related to the Trailblaze. That's right, because it was a Trailblazer who made it! <laughs> it was Mikhail! This is like all but confirmed. This is in in my mind. This is like yeah, it was Mikhail. Mikhail did this. Mikhail was 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 the was the what's his what's his name legwork. Yeah, that part of the theory that I came up with is that's all but confirmed in my mind. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. Okay. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Okay. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? I want to hear it. Let's leave it at that. No! How Tell us! Believe that you bear no hostility. By the way, when I was laughing, when, when it was a brace for gravitational disintegration, when he said that and I started laughing really hard, I had the weirdest head rush. And I was like, <laughs> my vision went weird for a second. I was laughing. That was the weirdest thing. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't okay. want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm -hmm. He's smart. Okay. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about... Mentally disintegrated, yeah. The heck up? No. Four cups. <laughs> because the conversation coming up will last forever. Dang, okay. I am so excited to see this. I am so excited to see the two of them working together. Oh my goodness. At the same time, hotel in the real world. Okay. I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. Okay. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. Huh. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. Dang. You wake the heck up. It's coffee. It's pretty much coffee. Yeah. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. Yeah, you don't need much if you're going to just be spending all your time in the dream. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received oh, by Annihilation It's game. beautiful. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. Okay, so I came to a conclusion recently when it came to... Ooh, the music box. Um... It wasn't clear when we were playing 2.0 exactly who sent out the music boxes. Whether it was someone from the IPC trying to make a mess or someone from the family that was just unauthorized or whatever. But I'm pretty sure it was Mikhail or th whoever is the acting watchmaker now, their self. Because at the very end, um, when Sparkle, or Spobbin, Sparkle Robin, was talking to um, Sunday, they uh, specifically described it as the watchmaker's guest list, right? Um, and we also know, because of just previous stuff, that the watchmaker is most likely, like 98%, I'm just waiting for confirmation in the game, a nameless, Mikhail, legwork. Um, and we also know that the music boxes contained a distress signal, which was used specifically by the nameless, right? So the music box being also a mechanical thing it is a, it is a it is a mechanical um it's 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 this the muse boxes are well what i want to basically saying is the perfect thing for a watchmaker to make it's it's a machine so it all just kind of fits together right this would have made a really good short if i had thought to do this before this update <laughs>
All right, give me a second. I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. You can enjoy looking at half of, um, half of Black Swan's beautiful eyes behind a burning music box for like two minutes. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Second. I see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I just had to write down some of these video ideas. <laughs> I've got them on. I've got them on a post-it note next to me now, so I can I can I can scribble them down as I go. And if all of the questions get answered by the end of this update, great. If not then you will have one heck of an awesome lore video series before the next one. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much. Will you do the whole story today? I'm gonna try to. Even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. Who are you talking to? The Annihilation Gang. That band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. Acheron. What exactly happened to them? Well... Manny, thank you so much for the sub! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. By the way, guys, I do something special. That when we reach two subs during a stream, uh, I change the color of my pet sheep in my Minecraft world. For you guys and it, i put him on a wheel and make it spin um if i get five subs during a stream then i turn him a rainbow i turn him a rainbow so yeah <laughs> that is up for you but thank you so much for the sub manny i appreciate it let me reveal all she says you're gonna try and get into her mind again Huh. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by a manifestation. Hmm. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. Okay. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Huh. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storm. Who are you referring to? Is this just general people who sought refuge in, in the thing? Or is there a specific person or people? Children. I 
When hast thou, on the path of destruction, feared death? What does that sound? What's going on there? Is that just distortion, or is it cutting things out? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Black Swan, you're gonna hurt yourself. What happened? Voice in the memory. Huh? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way... It fell into someone else's hands? Huh. It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? It could just be a byproduct of, of Acheron's presence. We know that Acheron has sort of... The way I think of it is that she's got a black hole in her mind, you know? We know it exists in her sword, we know it's part of her ultimate, but it's like... It's like... Eating her away from the inside out is what's going on with Nihility, you know? Who are you? Huh? Who are you? It's... Who is this? No. Is this not a memory? <laughs> this is kind of terrifying. The experienced, expert memo keeper coming across something that's completely unknown to them. Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? Is that Acheron's voice? My name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and send it. A... Would be a Meyer transmute what? Unforgettable time together. She will be more traumatized than yeah. <laughs> but that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. No, wait a second. And you. I know what you're looking for. Those are his kids. Those those are the children of the, the Annihilation Gang. Oh no, they smuggled their way into Panacone, didn't they? Secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. Oh no, they're in the room with her. I wish you unforgettable. Constance is the one with the black horns and the hat. Yep. What is this? Oh. Wanna listen in? At this moment, on the other side. So we're back in the drape? Or the other side of the hotel? Oh. Switching to a Venturin's point of view. This is new. Aventurin. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has oh. been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. Yo, okay, so the Sigonians get some kind of, um, agency. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to I'm the happy for them. system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history. Turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. I'm so glad. It looks like the, the Sigonians will finally be able to, to have some kind of peace. We we haven't learned much about Sigonia, but it does sound like a very not peaceful place. Sigonia 4 
is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment Places we'll visit in the future? is being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home. Huh. Dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. Big IPC propaganda, they fair enough. They developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Is that what the Abgens are? Sigonia. <gasps> Sigonia. Ravenous eye of is the that storm. him? Burned by all the gods. Land of rock. But it's a baby. Water. Is this baby a venturing? He's blonde. But not rain. Blood, but not tears. Wow. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. Oh, Abjin is honey. Us a land of honey. Yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, wow. Oh, Gaiathra Triclops. If thou can hear Interesting. Me, this is a lore drop. Please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When okay. you took his father, my child. Was still sleeping in my belly. Okay, so yeah, I'm guessing this is a venture in. This is his mother went, speaking. I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Oh. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat? And the this is so sad. Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. So Sigonia is a very not peaceful please place. We've been made to 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 believe that it's because of the people, but also it sounds like there's a lot of external factors too. This blanket is like fully singed. Look at that. This blanket was partially on fire at some point, and now it's being used to swaddle a baby. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Oh, poor baby. Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! Raining? <sighs> Raining. <laughs> it is raining. It's true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. Wow. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. So I'm assuming the outworlders were the IPC. But we do know that the IPC's geoforming strategies don't always work. I'm going to guess that the rain is not actually a good thing. Darling, listen. What I understand is just a blanket this saving for people not from that world. Rain. Yeah. On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gaiathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Is he now? Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. Is his name Avgen? My boy. May the goddess Gaia. Like his actual name. He's called Aventurin by the IPC, but I'm wondering if his given name is Avgen. 
Your blood. It Just shh, 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 shh. Don't, don't, don't give me anything. Let your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes <laughs> forever concealed. Ah. Oh. Welcome to the sad world, Kakavasha. Kakavasha. Okay. <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. <laughs> Ratio! Our guy! <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much soul glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Oh my goodness. Love the homies and their shenanigans. They're amazing. Just as you guessed. Oh, I love this, this area. Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. Wow. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Unless she's not dead. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Hmm. Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. Oh, you... <laughs> oh, he'll risk everything. If there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Not gonna lie, Ratio is a W this version. Here's the thing. As far as I know, none of the, like, Astral Express people even know that Dr. Ratio is here. That he's working with Aventurin, right? All or nothing mentality is crazy, though. It pays off occasionally, but you've got to choose where you use it. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. Mm -hmm. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, uh -huh. they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Oh, my goodness. Ratio's voice actor is so good at making me not stand up. I know, right? I've actually gotten to talk with him a few times on Twitter, just like back and forth in the comments. <laughs> so cool he's so good he's really he's like a really fun person too it's like you can tell that he is just having a blast playing this character there is not one moment where he's playing this character where he is not having the time of his life <laughs> and so it's like it's it's uh uh infectious there we go i was gonna say contagious but infectious is the better word technically the same but besides robin there was another body Firefly. I don't Unless know it's not Firefly? Details, just that it was a stowaway. Firefly, yeah. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. So I was right. He didn't know. Okay. Actually amazing. I'd die to play a character like Dr. Ratio. I would love to play a character in one of these games, period. Because I'm, like, I like one of the things that I did when I was younger, it's like when I was, like, in high school, I did voice acting every year, like, every now and then, and I want to do it again. I want to get back into it, but usually I get hired to sing, and I'm like, I'd love to do more singing, but I want to do more voice acting more. I, I enjoy voice acting much more than I enjoy singing. That's, that's, be honest. This murderer is a psycho. Voice acting is so cool. It's amazing. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. The murder, there's more than one. Malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Okay, so what I'm seeing here... Wish I could do either, but I'm monotone. That's totally fine. Sometimes it's... Sometimes people need monotone characters, actually. But... What I'm seeing here is that, okay, Aventurin actually has been... He's not been honest with us. He's been, like... Um, deflecting the truth. He made it sound like he knew more than he did. But he hasn't lied to us, is what it seems. He just doesn't know as much as we do. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. She has a double. Uh, what should we do? 
Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Hmm. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Oh, don't treat him too hastily, Ratio. Your strengths lie in planning for every eventuality. Sparvin. <laughs> Spavin is what I call her. Um, Dr. Ratio, your strengths lie in planning for every eventuality. However, Aventurin thrives. Thrives. In the desperate choices. Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Hmm. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box. That's but right. By the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. So or Robin Robin's can't self. sing. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her, but she died right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your Harmony voice like in the first period Celestia. I haven't seen that. Stand. I need to go back through and watch some of the Myriad Celestia. I used to skip them because I'm like, eh, it's not character trailers. I guess it's boring. I had no idea what I was missing out on. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. Okay. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Hmm, that's gonna restrict your movement a little bit, Aventurin. How are you gonna plan for that? Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. No, you're not. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. And that is all the that Aventurin needs. The vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. That man? Who is that man? Who? Oh. Sunday. Sunday! Sunday! Ha ha! The most dashing man on Penacony. What do you have to say now, Aventurin? Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. I'm starting to feel bad for Aventurin, guys. I don't dislike him as much as I used to, that's for sure. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's all great. Well, you welcome, Mr. Atta. I see you. I see you. The living can. The dead can't talk, but the living can. Eh, Black Swan might disagree. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the Miracle, family. thank you so much for the follow! <laughs> Just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. He might not be sitting on his hands. I think he's got a plan. Without further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. It hasn't already? Okay. My opinions got so much more complicated. Excited to see where you land. Oh! New location! It's so pretty! place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manor wasn't this heavily guarded. Huh. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, hmm. the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Which is why we have to switch Look to another character's perspective. still have this moment of freedom. 
Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. See, the interesting thing about Aventurin is that I do trust him to, to act in his own self-interest, and I trust him to act very, very stupidly occasionally. Ratio is a little more difficult to pin down. I know he's Intelligentsia Guild, and so information, knowledge, wisdom, all of these things are kind of his forte. But he also works for the IPC. So when push comes to shove, is he going to choose information, knowledge, wisdom? Or is he going to choose the IPC? Follow me and I'll bring I have no idea what his offer. true motives are. He just kind of seems to be here. Why is he here? Deal with the members of the family. Ratio to me is a very complex and interesting character. I guess we're going to find out more. There's a reason. Danse Macabre. As the story unfolds, you will have the chance to progress. There's a reason why they showed us Ratio in a quest before Penaconi. I think they were setting him up to be a major player in Penaconi. Character will automatically be placed first in your team. You can check the Fates Atlas interface to see which character's point of view an ongoing mission or completed mission is in. If you need to change your point of view to continue the story, you can select here to enter Fates Ensemble for more details. Hi. Click here to do another another thingy thing. We'll do this for now. Okay, let's let's look around a little bit. Hi, adventure in. Oh. Yank. Hi, buddy. What a lovely song. Spin up that disc and sweet music will play out the speakers. So if I put something new, then the record player will play a new track too. See ya, I'm off to sing this song to the other birdies. And seen that one. He's so cute. Well, it doesn't look like we can actually change the thing. I want to hear that snap again. Oh my gosh, that's clean. I like it. Chest. Anything here that I can get? No? No. What's on the ceiling? Nothing. Hi, uh, Hendrik? Hey, you two! That's a place of business. No entry. Okay, Papeshi, let I us through. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. I love how he's talking so slow. I love how he's talking so slow as if he's talking to a literal child. Oh, I remember you. Veritas, Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. I have no idea what he's saying. Right. And, as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't- Hey, thank you for the M attendance, Bunno! Welcome to stream! How are you doing? How are you, Bunno? I've not talked in ages. Ah! Ah! My friends are here! Bunno, C, Val! How is everyone? <laughs> Yay! Bro is shunny, yeah. I am- I am doing amazing. I get to play my favorite game today. You can't get to see. play new content. Like I say, only family can see <laughs> the glory of the mobile knights. We may happen to be in VC. Ooh, going. nice. Keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Oh yeah, we won't keep him waiting. It's okay. It's okay. How is emo? I'm Slay. Uh, emo is doing well. Thank you so much for asking. See, emo May is doing very well. Ah. It seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Eh, well, sorry to disappoint you, doctor. All right. I guess we go in here? Herbs? A dead end? No, there's the a way door through. door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, <laughs> there isn't a door. How did you get in before? A. 
With Marquise, thank you so much for the stretch. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my gosh. For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape with the mechanisms hidden in the Ah, so it's a puzzle. Statues. We can get the through. Direction of the statues <laughs> be controlled. Oh my goodness. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct <laughs> position. Well, maybe we should do the hmm. same. Let's go and take a look. Mm -hmm. Of course, we can also use brute force. Miss you, Emo May. I miss you too, Bunno. I miss you guys. Don't swear on Emo's family friendly stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just a second. I'm going to take a look at. Let's. let's do it let's do a a walkie walk. Oh my goodness. Can't believe I get to play his adventure in. Alright, we're gonna grab him. <laughs> oh my gosh, Val. <laughs> Try his technique. Alright, um Oh Nice! Let us through, let us through, let us through. A burb. Origami burb. Okay. I guess we're going through here. Obtain a clue regarding the Nightingale statue. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna look around. Ooh, hello. I'm gonna grab a chest. Whoa. <sighs> We're gonna go... R? Ho ho ho! Oh gosh! Hello! Feeling lucky. We have overtaken your chat? You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> oh! Time to play? Hello? Core Fox, thank you so much for the follow! Streamer of the year, player of the video. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys. All of this has okay. I was not touching a single thing up to that point. The truth of life and death. The that was all autoplay, except autoplay was not on. <laughs> I would join VC with you guys, but I really want to. I, I want to play my game, and I will not be able to play it very well if I'm talking with you guys. I'm sorry. Destroy the T Rex. I will destroy the T Rex. Have you pulled for Ryden May? I mean, Acheron. I have pulled for her. I've done two ten pulls for her. Um, next one, I should get a... Uh, next one or the one after? I miss you. I miss you guys, too. Head your bets. Um, it's either this next ten pull or the one after that I will get a uh, five star. I... Oof. I don't have a guarantee. So I'm very... I'm very... Yeah. Oh. Surely we'll win. I believe I will. Lost my 50-50 to Clara. See, Clara would not be a, a bad person to lose my 50-50 to because... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. The dice have been cast. Oh, 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 oh. Or maybe I'll take it off. Woo! Yeah, Claire is a good one. I have lost a couple 50-50s. I believe my most recent one was to Himiko, but now I've got an E2 Himiko, so I'm not going to complain too much. The truth of life and death. The is but a vision. I want to max my Himiko eventually. Ha! This is taking a while. But I mean... At the same time, no one's lost any health. That'll take more than no interesting I have yet to lose 50, 50 since we reach. Nice. Got the Raiden XP in my 50p. Dang. Yeah, I got Gallagher. I'm so happy. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Head your bets. Uh huh. Tough luck running into me. 
I still don't have... I still really need to get Japard. And Yanqing. Those are the only standard characters that I don't have. So, yeah. This is like an extended character trial and I love it. No one here crazy. I already had E6 Don Hung and I got eight more copies. Dang. That's me with, uh, it's me with, what's her name? Ting Yun. I have gotten so many Ting Yuns, I want to just pitch her out to the window. In a video game. Usually a Ching Chua magnet. I've got, I think it's the level five Ching Chua. Like, give me Gallagher, please. Yes. I could have e6 so many characters if I would have stopped getting freaking Ting Yun. So yeah, what I'm learning is that Aventurin is an amazing, amazing shielder. Give me just one second, guys. Guys, I have been given food. I have got Don't a bacon-wrapped something and fries. It's so good. Okay. I'm gonna set this to the side. And I'm gonna munch the food. Quietly. So I'm not crunching in the mic. Head your bets. <laughs> the dice Let's use cast. that. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Yeah, he's S tier shielder. What was that? He actually does some damage too. He does. It's not bad. The truth of life and death. Okay. Okay. That'll take more than medicine. Got in twenty pulls. I don't know what my pity was for her. So did you get Ho Ho? Ho Ho is one of the few five stars that I don't have. Sure, I'll play along. Awesome. Fighting is meaningless. Love Ho she's so cool. My turn. Naughty child. Kind of regret skipping her. See, I didn't mean to skip her. I just like stopped playing for a while. And then her banner happened while I was gone. Didn't really like Tail at first. Tail is a bit annoying, but he's a cool character, I think. Girls on you. There are so many characters in this game. Tail is just a sun sun. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many characters in this game that, like, initially, my initial impression was, what the heck, I hate this. But then the longer I'm around them, I'm like, oh, so you're not bad at all. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Well, this is definitely a skill point positive uh -huh. team. Naughty child, nap time. <laughs> Gotta try hard some- Watch this awesome move! Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'm eating my bacon wrapped thing as I do this. I'm sorry. Just in time. Just a little something. Don't worry about me. Adventuring seems like the kind of duty skill at start and he's built right you never skill again because shield replenishes that's true yeah it's really good Try that again. Oh. the truth of life and death 
Yes, Moogieverse, that's like... You would never, you would never die. Seems like a great tank. Keep on using Kushwan. I mean, to each their own, honestly. Fighting is meaningless. Why won't this thing freaking die? Uh -huh. Naughty child. Tough luck running into me. I've no interest in <laughs> Master Diviner still special? Honestly, I prefer the general. Sure, sure, Kushwan. She's 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 uh, she's there. She's a thing. I like Jinny Run. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. My turn. <clears throat> Come on. Let it. Let us. Let us. Let us go. Jinny Run is amazing. Yeah, I'm still working on. Like, I've got all of the proper relics on him, I've got all this stuff, but I'm still working on getting, like, the what nodes for his relics, right? Sure, I'll play along. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I don't have a Fush one. I really wish that I had her. <laughs> I'm almost done with my fries, I'll, then I'll be able to start talking again. Thankfully all this is happening when there's not much story going on, because we're in the middle of a never-ending battle against this freaking purple dinosaur. Wait. Barney? <clears throat> Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. It's Barney's evil cousin, guys. Blarney. Did anyone else ever have nightmares about Barney the Dinosaur as a kid? Incredibly close. Die. Die. Yes, he's gone. Okay. <clears throat> Pog. Okay. I've eaten the food. Yummy. No just elbow. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, Plano, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have an awesome evening. What we got? Grand Duke ceremonial boots and 30 stellar jades. All right. Uh... Oh, that sucks. Nothing over here then? Let's go over the, this way then. Oh, it had a thing on it the entire time. I've never seen it in horror. I got it. Oh. Well, there we go. This should be easier, though, right? Life and death revealed in an instant. Excuse me. Only re re reoccurring nightmare I ever had was the one that would pass threshold. Oh, that sounds pleasant. Try that again. See, I would always have these dreams where I couldn't move, you know? Where something would be happening, and I wouldn't be able to, like, stop it, or I'd, like, be running and couldn't- That Those are always the worst. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Woo! Head your back. Go venture in. What are you? Ah, oh, annoying is what you are. Get out of here. Get out of here. No dirty tricks. That'll take more than medicine. 
I don't know if this is just me, but did you ever notice? Did anyone else ever have like nightmares where you were being chased by something? And you'd be running and you couldn't go anywhere. But the thing chasing you actually wouldn't get any closer. You were just suspended in the horrible tension of is it gonna get me, is it gonna get me? It was still chasing you. And it just would never reach you. Try that again. Too late to repent. But that didn't make it any less terrifying. Fighting yeah, it sucks. Or maybe I'll take it off. The giant spider did get closer. Yeah, but did it ever reach you? <sighs> Goodbye. I had a dream like that. Three spiders, three tigers were chasing a bus I was on. Woke up right at them as I hopped on the roof of the bus. Oh no. Made me think we were all the FNAF protagonists. No, but I kept running. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's, that's what I mean, though. Only fell from high heights. I would never fall. Or if I did, I would immediately wake up. Sometimes I would get fireflied by usually that just stuck in. Got it, yeah. There are a handful of dreams that I've had, like about the end of the world, that stick with me. Because here's the interesting thing: even though I could never, it like felt real in the moment. I I never run from those. Like if the end of the world is happening, literally what I do is I just stand there and wait for the tsunami to crash over me or the fire to engulf. It's just like I'm just gonna. What am I gonna do? I'm just- I'm just gonna let it happen. You're really just using fireflies as a noun term- yeah. I actually enjoy those dreams sometimes. It's like the end of the world, cause it's just like... There's a strange freedom in no longer being afraid of the inevitable. Not- it's not that I want it. I don't. But there's a freedom in finally accepting. What the heck are- what are you?! Little yoga pose and weirdness dude. Oh, what a true follower of Ix you are. That's- that's what I am. That's like- that's what- that's my chosen path. There's no need to fear it. That'll take more than my nap time. your bets. Uh-huh. Whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. Sometimes there are things I can do to change it, but often not. So you know, sure, I'll play literally, literally Acheron. Yeah. <laughs> the truth of life and death. So if you followed a path, you'd be a self annihilator. I'm not self destructive. But I mean, philosophy and all that jazz. Yeah. I actually wrote out a big long thing about my character for this. Cause here's the interesting thing. Feeling lucky. Oh, come back here. Here's the interesting thing. Accepting it is very difficult from going out of your way to achieve it. Yeah. So I got things that I can achieve. It's like, on the one hand, I'm very much like the, what is it? I've got six nightingales oh. facing in different directions. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, I got it. An obvious hint. Mm. They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. <laughs> it might be your subconscious. Um Rub on the cor on the corner in this floor. Interesting, okay. Definitely be a masked fool. <laughs> hey, not feeling like not d d disliking it is definitely not against their job description. Sampo doesn't like sparkle. Sa masked fool seems to have so much fun. I don't think it's about fun so much as 
I think they're a lot more nihilistic than even the, the, the followers of Nihility sometimes. It's just like, what does it matter? There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? Okay. The two return on the path they came from. Okay. Turn counterclockwise. Not stuck. Uh, I meant to turn you the other way. Doesn't matter now, though, does it? They literally exist just to watch. They do, don't they? Okay. The interesting thing about the eons that they've made very clear is that no one actually knows what they are. They might stand for something completely different than the paths we've given them, but it's what makes the most sense to us. <sighs> Just as I thought. Here's the correct- A truly miraculous discovery. <laughs> I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Oh my goodness, Dr. Ratio. I'm gonna slap really? you. <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? And I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? Here, I want to see something real quick. You do the puzzle through brute force? Well, I'm not brute forcing my way through it today. Unless you're Lan the Hunt, who is very much upfront about what they want. Lan is... Intimidating. I need to check a thing. Because why not? Okay. Never mind. That's all I wanted to check, and now I've checked it, and there was nothing there to begin with. Loud reminds me of the Doom Slayer. I don't know anything about Doom Slayer. Sadly. Alright, let me in. Let me in! It really is just because Yashi. It's an interesting thing. Impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Reservation and virtuosity don't have to be synonyms. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penacony. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Well, why don't you stop nitpicking me, you freaking- Oh, he's annoying. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Okay. Oh, can't go that way. Meow, 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 meow. Kind of pretty. I, I know we'll be in that sand pit eventually. Can I go this way? Cannot be opened in the current state. Well, screw you. Boop. Got him. He's in Derek. Yeah, he's. Ooh, I don't like. Try that again. Nice. <laughs> this won't take long. Watch your head. Aventurin's random attacks are really fun. Fighting is meaningless. How do I trigger them? How do I trigger those attacks? No interesting What does it do? How do we do? Oh, it's is it when people get attacked and also when follow-ups? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. But I was wondering, like, how do I make it tick up? It looks like when people get attacked and when they use follow-ups. Do you know about bab Babochka? 
that controls the dreamscape from the shadows. What if the dream's edge hidden deep in the dreamscape? Do you know about the top secret family sacrificial ritual? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! This just took a hard left. They have fooled you, dear guests. Come and hear the truth. I shall know. I shall show you how truly filthy the dark underbelly of Penacody is. Okay. A veteran should have had 50% crit rate that couldn't be altered just to keep gambler scheme complete. Oh my goodness. Let's awaken you. Think about it. These stories are insane, right? How could I have believed such things? I'm sure they're all just conspiracy theories dreamed up by some B-grade tabloid. They must be fake, right? All right, well. This is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Okay, okay, uh, complete story now. Complete exploration later. Hi. What the ho da bo ta da bahada? How? Hi da. Ha 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 ha. I want to go on the streets, please. Let me go. That's so pretty. Okay. Wait. Who do, who do, how do, how do talk, how do I talk to the guys? Hello, verdict manager, can I? Hmm. Glance downwards, as you expected, nothing is there. After all, real birds do not exist within the dreamscape. Ooh. Haha. <gasps> -ha. Hold on. Huh? What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find huh. a way to open Put the door. I my phone number for you. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> my favorite. Sounds like fun. Get serious. I have no time for games. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, hello. Thank you for this sub, Core Fox. Oh my goodness, I will be changing friends color. Once I have at the end of the stream when I get in my private world. Okay, cannot be open. So we've got to get the door open somehow. Might it be something to do with these? There's a puzzle up there. So I see a bloodhound. A nightingale. Woo! They're so adorable. I love these little creatures. I want to learn how to make some really good realistic origami birds. Take the Bezos bucks by. Thank you so much! I appreciate it! Okay. Oak. Alfalfa. Some, uh, uh, bloodhound. Nightingale. Iris. Yeah? Let's investigate. So it's the families. What's up there? Here, let's try exploring over here. Oh. Meow, 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 meow. By the way, from being perfectly hidden, chirp. Okay. Got him. Oak cake rolls. Great. Let's go up here. See if there's any way... Oh! This could probably be useful. Stream jigsaw. Oh, 
I'm so glad I have Topaz for the chest collect. I don't have Topaz. I wish I had Topaz. But unfortunately, I do not. What are we... Oh, chest! Pog! Um, here, let's try going out this direction. Please. Nice. Um... Little gallery here. Okay. Um. Yeah. I, I think we're on the right track. I'm gonna go R. I don't like those things. They have the strange look of a yoga pose. And also a spider. I don't enjoy. Aha! There you are. Something else. Find all the scattered jigsaw pieces. Okay. Hi, Robin. Aha! Machines. Come on. Come on. Here you are. Hi! It's really nothing like the feeling of standing atop a high peak. I have felt that feeling. It makes you want to fly. Alright. Let's do this. Uh, the, the, you know what? I won't see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I see. I see. You were referencing something that I haven't gotten to yet, most likely. Okay. Alright, we do that. We do... This. They got this very much Alice in Wonderland FNAF thing going on here. Okay. So we need... To do a thing... How do I... Okay. I know what to do. I think. Go this direction, Pog. Whoop. And we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna not alert anyone because this is a story playthrough and not meant to- Oh, hi, Hanu. I'll get to you later. Hi, there you are! That's what I wanted. Wonderful! Pog. Grand Duke's robe of grace. Perfect. Okay. And what the heck are you? Why can't I grab you? Because that's where we're meant to go? Well, when we come back here later, which I'm sure we will, because that looked important, I will know how to do things. Can I say it? No. You cannot. I accidentally did a thing. I accidentally went to the wrong place. No. I mean, yeah, you could say it. It. Funny. Okay. Inspect the sand pit. That's where we need to go is the sand pit. I already went there. I am silly. I got too silly, guys. I got too silly. We found so many birds. Oh my gosh. Oh, investigate. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. I've got to go and get the thing now. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble. Did the exact same thing? Oh. Time. Right, doctor? Of course. 
Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. All right. Well, at least there's a space space anchor there. Why do I feel that we're missing a degree in burglary now? Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, we're good. I don't want to get into combat right now. Found it. This is it. Meow. Meow. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Wait. How do I? How do I do the thing? I get to there, and I get on there. And how do how about how about like there to there, there to there, there to there. Ah, uh, there we are. Okay. I like your headphones. You cannot see my headphones. Oh, the ones on my avatar. <laughs> I like them too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm slightly thick, shall we say. Ha! Finally! And the nameplate reads Gulliver's, Gulliver's Arch. Arch. <gasps> I like that! I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. It's probably the same thing. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Gulliver is fun to say. It is Gulliver. 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 All right. Now let's put this in place. Let's do the thing. Ha ha. The sand pit. This reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. This man just did not have a childhood period, did he? Oh, look. The gap is closed. Nice. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? We go through it, of course. Let's go. Let's go. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good heavens. D did I drink? A am I still in a dream? <laughs> oh, no. Poor Venturin. Indeed. Oh, Doctor, you're huge. It's me! Down here! In the, the sand pit! Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. <laughs> Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. As if the family wouldn't have planned for things like that. Oh, fine. I was just kidding. <laughs> Let's find a way to open the door. Oh, I love it! Oh my goodness! Can I, can I get... Who? <laughs> Big room! Big room! Bigger. Hi, Doctor. Can I see a map? Is there a map? There's a map! Oh. I love. <laughs> Sir. What are you doing? He's such a goofball. I like him more and more the more we learn about him. I didn't... That's not what I wanted to do. Nope. Oh, that's pleasant. Thankfully, you are no match for my spear. That I was expecting not to kill him there, but it just made it so much cooler. Oh, dang. Adventure in his big adventure in propaganda. <laughs> Accurate. All right, my guy. Where shall we go? What shall we do? We're gonna get some stuff. We're gonna run around. We're gonna do some things. 
Why is that thing there? What is going on? There is a person lying in the doorway. Person lying in the doorway. They don't look too well. They look like they had a run-in with the Dream Jolt troop. Oh! I know where we are. It's tiny. Oh. Oh. Let's go get the things. Let's go get the things. Let's go get the things. Best Acheron perk is just skipping combat. I want Acheron for that reason. <laughs> Boom. There we go. No surprising win. So these are just, they're just... Hello, I am an NPC. That's so funny. That's so funny. He's just T-posing. Can I do a thing here? Can I do a thing? No, I can't. Okay. Boop. Bop. That's... Why would you drop a die? This is hardly an opportunity. <laughs> the die are life-sized. The die are like actual. Look at look at that. He's so small that the die are actually like actual Hello. die. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Okay. I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Okay. Happy tell me about the guided tour. And tell me about the tour. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. See, I was gonna say they can't fit much technology in that thing, but it's literally a dream. It's literally a dream. It shouldn't matter. I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mall. Give it a kick. Happy to be of service. Yeah, we just kicked it. Generating guide. Please wait patient. Okay, kick it again. Yep. Uh, the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule uh, machine model. model uh, 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 uh. Oh gosh. You did, huh? What's up with that? That the family's toys are trying to frame me. I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. That sounds. I saw nothing. <laughs> oh, capsule machine. Must have been a fun day for that VA. Oh my anymore. gosh, yeah. Could there be one at the top? Okay, yeah, we'll find this. Oh, oh. Interesting. I like this. So, I was right. There we These go. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. Okay, okay. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Okay, let's get the Before other one. They puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna no. Nope, there we go. Yeah, that that we were we were gonna get ambushed anyway. The dice have been cast. Meow. Yashi, thank you for the in attendance. How you doing? Welcome. Boom. I. Welcome to stream. Boom. Move carefully. Yeah, nice try, my guy. The truth of life. Death. Death be death to you. And march. Alright. We got him. Oh. I didn't realize there was a second round here. Hey, thank you so much for charging my energy. Enjoy the weakness break. Uh -huh. 
You get out of here. And you. Three, two, one. All right. Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. Oh, I'll have to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. <laughs> it's tough. I don't like the pinball machines very much, I'm gonna be honest, but it- Oh, bird! Giant bird! I love the giant bird. Ooh! Investigate! <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Oh my goodness, why can't the game ever say, go here, here's your reward, spend wisely. Doc! I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Oh! Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I love how he's talking so slowly. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Where is he? Can we see him? Can we see him? Where's Ratio? Where's our guy? No? No, okay, we can't. All right, let's find the thing. Da 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 da. Got him. He's in the middle, so it's not possible. Dang it! Okay. I was like, please. Zero points. Fighting is meaningless. All right. All right. Get him. Toad? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't meaning to, but I, I guess. Ow. Yeah, just one second. I'm going to do this autoplay real quick, and I'm going to grab something. I'll leave this out of my room. I have a micro fridge on top of my chest of drawers, and it currently has cream soda in it. Seeing as we're in Panacone, it only makes sense to drink something that is mildly similar to Soul Black. Unfortunately, I don't have orange juice to mix it with, otherwise I would. Come on, it's in a glass bottle, so it's really cool. Ugh. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna get Natasha. Because I don't like how low ratio and march are. All right, oh, I'm taking control again. Thanks, thanks, game. Embracing soda culture, yeah. Why not? I'm asking questions. Ah! Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Marshless ratio equals Mario. <laughs> and then I get to be Toad. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Knowledge Get him out of here. Truth and Yay. Noish. Your answers. Get out of here. Boom. <laughs> I love March's follow up. Here we go. I'm gonna get that out of here. 
And then I've got to do a whole another series of a little little battle. Because there is more in this room. Da 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 Oh wait, never mind, maybe I don't. Oh, there we are. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Wait, I'm gonna quickly just get you out of here. Hmm. I've no interest in con. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure why I chose cream soda. I prefer root beer. And I prefer Pepsi more than both of those. But I was like, oh, I'm gonna get cream soda for my for my little fridge. And the root beer was sitting right next to it, and I just said, nah, not today. Too late to repent. My turn. Fighting is meaningless. Mm-hmm. I want to get into more stuff that I can craft theories around. I want to get into more story. That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Let's do this real quick. Can't remember when I last had cream soda. It's pretty good, but it's incredibly sweet. Ta-da! Dawn brew hut is so barren. Neither trees or grass grow here. I want to bring some green to this place. What exactly is cream soda? No clue. It's sugar. Why is my statue completely bare? Okay. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, it more so that I literally don't know what it is. It, yeah, I don't either. I don't either. I just know it's 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 vaguely yummy. Oh, you're back. Just place it here. All right. Place the model in the sand bit. There we go. Awesome. Closer to root beer, but quite different. Yeah, it's got a similar kind of like spicy spice Thanks, to root beer. Doc. There we go. All right. We're gonna rotate it. Huh. How do we... Oh, there we go. Okay. Activate. Rotate. Um, activate. Activate. There we go. Nice. You like a vanilla Coke where you live? It's similar. Yeah, I, yeah. I've had vanilla Coke. It's kind of meh to me, but it's alright. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, gotta get closer. Gate is locked. Control panel must be somewhere. Okay, we're gonna go run this way. Horatio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. You sound so unenthusiastic about everything. Hold on. Piece of cake. Come on. There we go. Achievements. All right. Pog. Let me get out of here. Where do I have to go to? There. Okay, that's easy. Boom. Whew. Hello, I am. I, 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 I don't. My good sir. Nice. Got him. The truth of life and death. This ain't gonna take much. Next coming Honkai Star Rail Theory, what is Soul Glad? It's it's Sprite and orange juice. Move carefully. Hmm. 
I know that because the devs talked about it in the in the um the heckin' live stream that happened recently. They said they had like a big old like dinner theater thing where all of the the writers went out and, and saw something together, and then afterwards they sat down and they had an amazing time talking through. Um, like how they're gonna do the story, what it looks like, all of the different stuff, and then the restaurant theater that they were at had a drink on the menu that they didn't say what it was called, but they said that it was basically orange juice mixed with Sprite. And between all of them, by the end of the night, they had 40 glasses of it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna wait on that until later. They had like 40 glasses of it between between all of them. By the, by the time they were finished for the night. And so they really enjoyed it, and then it became a, a major thing in, in, the, in the story. So yeah. Nice. And I will explore more of this later. And boop. Ba -da -da -dum. All right. Gonna get the authentic Pentagon experience Big Mac with orange juice and Sprite. Ooh, that sounds so nice. I love the birds. Oh my goodness, I love them. All right. Let's get this door open. Yeah. The joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. It makes me feel sad. I'm sure that I'll be able to come back and see it again. Maybe with you. I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Sounds like fun, adventurin. We will do it later. Oh no, I I said adventurin. You know what that means, guys? Whenever I say adventurin instead of adventurin, which is his actual name, I have to do a thing. Yeah. Adventure in time. He's he's gonna stay there for a bit. He's gonna stay there for a bit. That's adventure in. All right. Hello, Doctor. Miss me. It's a pity you made it out of <laughs> alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? What can I say, Doctor? Things just work out for me. I'll be fine. Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. I can think of a third, Looks but we'll leave like that for later. Sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Mm -hmm. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. You're not sincere, dude. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And yeah. I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. It is, isn't it? On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC. Because if he had, he might not be inviting us here. Simple. Because that murderer could very oh. much hiding inside the family. Uh -huh. um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? We still have no reason to believe, you have no reason to believe that it's actually her, unless there's more that you haven't told us. That was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. 
And we need someone who can keep her in Here, I'm gonna go ahead and take adventure in down for now. The variables up. Moreover, I need to oh, know no. her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> She could be an important pawn. You idiot. Trying to make a pawn of an animator? Emanator? Eman yeah, that's that's the word. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. Huh. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. Huh. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip. Ah, this is a line from the trailer. My freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well... <laughs> You can't win if you don't play, right? Sounds like this man has gambled with his life and lost... Ah, uh, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. My man... Oh... Sunday. There he is. Sup, my dude? It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. Well, I had the good doctor with me. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. Adventure is a gambling. Ah, oh, I said it again. This no. There's no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help. Yes? A bit. I mean, I was a bit too small to, to, to reach the stairs, so... Certainly. But you ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. <laughs> he considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dr. Horatio is pretty good at lying. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. Well, I mean, all the of those, fact that you succeeded maybe. In overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. So did someone lie to him, or is he just, like, being a... He's buttering him up big time. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person... And put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be. Buttering him up, yes! A tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's hmm. talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Why is she can't sing? Oh, she, oh, she died. <laughs> Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders. But they're talking about double meeting and big chunks. They are. You hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you okay. from apprehending the murderer and avenging okay. your sister's death. So I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna stop for a second, just a moment, and show you guys something. You want to know why I think that Sunday is the meme? Look at this. You see the eye shape there, 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 
There's even more on his back. They're on his sleeves. The monster, it's one of its main things, it's called Sunset. Sunday. It's, it's, oh. Talks about having spikes on his wings, which he, 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 well, he's not wearing a spike on his, I think we sparkled that to him. Um, the thing has wings with spikes used to stab. It's just too uncanny. I think Sunday is the meme. I think he's talking. I think I think we're talking to the traitor. But don't worry. I'm on your side. Are you? Probably. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return. Would you? He would. Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items. Won't well, confirm or deny that I like your take. Nice. Awesome. The bag of gift money and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. Hey, thank you for the posture check. My posture's doing pretty good right now. Feels like politicians just so sarcastic and talk so sarcastic and talking around things. See, here's the thing. Sunday is like he's literally a priest. He's meant to seem this very virtuous figure. He's always talking from the he's always quoting from the odes of harmony like some people quote bible verses. It's like he's he's this meant to be incredibly virtuous figure. And then over here we've got a gambler. He was meant to literally be this, 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 like, playboy character. And I trust him more than I trust Sunday. Sunday is the more corrupt between the two of them. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. Mm -hmm. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. Oh. I take back what I said earlier about how he's stupid for wanting to use um, Acheron as a pawn. I mean, he's kind of still stupid, but I was taking from the standpoint of, oh, she's an em emanator, you're just a human being. No, he can be an emanator too, as long as he has his cornerstone. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine. Not exactly. Okay, well, don't, don't, don't elaborate then. Let me make my theories, please. Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. But I don't. Because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Oh my goodness. Sure. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. Oh my goodness. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for, what exactly is stored in it? A hat. Oh, triple-faced soul. Please sear his tongue oh. and palms with a hot oh. iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Oh no. <sighs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their Oh light. no, Sunday? On their Sunday. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. That's not smart. Triple face soul. Yeah, it refers to Shipe. And if I refuse. 
excuse to answer. You can try. And we'll see if the Harmony rejects you. Oh no, Sunday. <laughs> this man. Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. Oh no. What a simple answer. You hey, would it ever become a PNG? I have been a PNG for about a month. Poverty. You want you to understand the idol shatter? Okay. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Did he? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. It's in the box. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing, but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgens have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate Oh one's my own goodness. Or mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? I don't like this. Sunday needs to chill the heck out. <gasps> yes. Aventurin? Okay, so he's not. So he's not heartless. All the Avgens were killed in a mess. Oh! Burb. Am I right? Burb. I wonder what path Sunday will be when if he is playable. No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Yes or no? Do you hate? And wish to destroy this world with your own hands. Yes. I don't like this. I want. I don't want a veteran to to have to go through this. I mean, I don't trust him, but I don't want this. I don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. No, this is like one of the situations where seriously, if this were happening with me, I would literally put myself between them and say, this is not happening. This is so wrong. This feels all kinds of different levels of wrong. I don't like this. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Oh. Hmm. Isn't this the same thing you used in Tubino? No, that was, um, he did not use it. Robin used it to help our brain. It's similar. It's we were out of sync with the dream and that's why we fell in instead of just appearing there. Um, and Robin was able to to help us get more on the same wavelength with it. So it's a, it's a, it's kind of a similar power, but the way Sunday is using it, I don't like this. Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. I don't like this at all. I don't like Sunday. Please. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> hmm. System hours ago, do light pavilion. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I didn't like that. Like. Since you came as promised, learn. Good doctor, grief. Does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? Dr. Ratio was in on this? What you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. Oh, I you I also understand little. that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. 
In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. Isn't that exactly what you did, though? My my dislike of Dr. Ratio is skyrocketing right now. You little... If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that... Stellaron! Mr. Oh! Mr. Confirmed! No other faction is willing to share such information. Confirmed there is a Stellaron on Penacony. Hmm. Everywhere we go, yeah. Ratio, you better have a really heckin' good explanation for why you sold us out. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic hmm. investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. So this part heard Stellar and instantly remembered your theory. Yes, yes. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> also, why were there two? You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very hmm. own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. Ten stone hearts. We know that Topaz is another one of them. The more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But All right, got to dip again for a while. Back sooner. Okay, Alex, thank you so much for stopping by. It's been a while. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hmm. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. Hmm. It belonged to someone else? The golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. Okay. And this golden statue is also known as topaz not adventurine oh and my goodness to topaz then why is it here so do you wish to confront him <sighs> not at the moment i'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone the safest place somewhere you'd never think of huh because he never intended to hide it in fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. Means Topaz gonna beat us in Billabog. That's true, yeah. Remember Topaz's phone call back in like 1.5? That's right. Was who did she talk to there at the end? I don't remember their voice. Was that Aventurin? Diamond. I see. This bag. I mean, maybe we don't really know our express teams. We don't. Life itself, with a bunch of worthless I mean, we know Don's Don Hong's secret strength. Gift of money we tend to stumble upon new strength every single time. Indeed, in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Huh. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. 
This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep leading to a total loss. Oh my goodness. Learned, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. Oh my goodness. That was... You went too far, Sunday. You went too far, Sunday. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. That wasn't failure, my dude. That was just you being sneaky and betraying someone. <sighs> Ratio, you wretch. For once, I agree with you, Adventurin. <laughs> Ratio, you better explain. Colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left. What? To Treasure your remaining time. And savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're gonna kill him? <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. Yeah, I want to know too. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I don't like that. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> I don't think the harmony represents Shipe any more than the IPC represents Klipoth. <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent, but I have seen your resilient spirit and thus, I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Another form of enslavement? This guy needs to die. This guy needs to die. I don't like Sunday. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. Oh my you goodness. Have two paths before you. And it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. Don't- no, we're not doing this again, Sunday. Stop that. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I don't like Sunday. The evil from the I've got very complicated the feelings at the moment, but I feel bad for Aventurin. Has he done some sucky hours. things? Yes, he does not deserve this. No one deserves this. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. Except possibly Sunday himself. Align, or if you can provide me more insights. Then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth. That isn't fair. Your carnival reason. Sunday did lose his sister cash. and the IPC wants to steal his planet back. Is achievable without it. Desperate, yes, but none of that is Aventurin's fault. Especially after he did that trial, he knows that Aventurin doesn't want to destroy the dream. He doesn't want to destroy Penicone. At least he's not set on it, which means that he can be swayed. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. Only focused on money. Well, that's a bit of the, the pot calling the kettle black, Aventurin. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. And that's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? His mind must be racing right now. Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. That's... Screw you, you, you chicken wing... 
There's so many words I want to say right now, but I'm not because I'm supposed to be family friendly. And who are you? Who are you? This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. Chicken wing Ayato, yes! <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. Actually, never mind. Don't you dare disgrace Ayato's name that way. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you, you truly what? wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Well, if he didn't before, I, he sure does now. <gasps> Kakabasha! Where did you oh. go? Oh. Are you injured? Oh. This is Sagonia? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. Oh, my goodness. I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. He had a sister, too. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. He learned how to gamble for the necklace. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. Of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. <laughs> That's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... Those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Okay. Have you forgotten how mom and dad... I no longer find him insufferable, this guys. This is just a necklace. But Kakavasha... In fact, he is going up the list family. of, like, of, like, favorites. Very slowly. But he is. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. Mom also left left her you, Kakavisha. There'll be no next time. It is important. What's her I'm name? As important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what Mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gayathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. I like how they capitalize the the pronouns of the gods the most in the eons. It's interesting, and it also dis it also distinguishes them. It's one of my favorite characters. I hate him at the same time. No, yeah, it's like I find him insufferable to be in the same room with, but I don't hate him. I understand how he got how he is, you know. And at the same time, it's like I wouldn't want him as a friend. I get it. I get why. You're a child blessed by Gaiathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. People who suffer can still ugh, don't so I know it. Yeah. Just remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Sunday is the prime example of that right now, Thief of Doom. I venture in too, mm -hmm. but Sunday. Listen to me and swear to Gaiathra Triclops. Okay, I will swear to Gaiathra Triclops to protect this well. Am I going to try and finish? I am going to try. Yeah, I don't know how far I'm going to get. It is kind of late for me, but I will keep going as long as I can. And as long as I'm not told to be quiet by the people who are falling asleep in the room upstairs. But sister, if Gaiathra Triclops was really watching over us... Why are you in pain? Then why and... did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? Yeah. After all... Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gaiathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gaiathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. But Mom 
moment she closed her eyes. He's not a believer, it seems. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart. And this episode hitting so hard, it. yeah. If every rain pour was Diathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace. Something just occurred to me. How triggering to a Venturin. They're, they're seeming to imply that uh, Aventurine has some kind of, not just all of the trauma, but there's a little bit of religious trauma in there as well. With his family believing certain things and him just questioning because it doesn't make sense if they're, if they're blessed, if they're lucky, if all of this, if they're this. So think about how triggering Sunday's just mode and method of speech is going to be for for Aventurine. It hurts. I don't like seeing him like this. As in, like, I never thought I would say this, but I'm like, just let me give him a hug, you know? It's like, he knows he's a dead man walking. I just like, I can't, don't think he would make up any more schemes unless it's to try and get out of this. I'm like, I'd like genuinely help him. Who exactly Gaia the Triclops is and Teresa are in the world where the gods literally just walk around? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she's one of the eons. I think she's someone someone else. Then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Oh, kid. Oh, turning to the trailblazer's point of view. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Um, excuse me. Give me a second. I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick since we're at a bit of a, a pause point. Oh my goodness. I need a second to take that in to adventure in. Okay, beer be back, guys. back chat oh my goodness i'm just thinking about when i was watching the um the live stream i was like oh yay we're gonna have adventure in flashbacks we're gonna do adventure in flashbacks yeah yeah yay! and i'm like no put it back no no <laughs> oh my gosh happy and fun story heartwarming <laughs> heartwarming wholesome panicone oi let me take another drink of my Soul Glad <clears throat> cream soda. Hmm. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. Huh? The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Oh wait, what artist are we looking at? Hmm. Just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Yeah. Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, presumably and body firefly, yeah. in real time. This data will be included. So in we're we are and handed over researching fireflies. Any data anomalies. Death. Immediate action Quote, unquote, death. Will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Huh. I apologize. Yeah. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. Oh, then we could talk to Gallagher. Gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. No, 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 Gallagher. At least we know who to look for next. 
We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Gallagher! Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Seems like she either doesn't know or is a really good liar. Hmm, I'm sure. This lady has no sure. idea? Yeah. No one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. Why is her voice so low? information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Huh. Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? How do people stow away? Stellar on hunters! Keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel seal. Hmm. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Exactly! Yes! Another part of my theory confirmed. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. But we haven't seen them demonstrate any ability to bypass the dream, though. Huh. Who are you guys? Huh? The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. What? To execute armed evacuation operation. Boss, get moving. Um. I don't think you're supposed to be here, man. Uh, armed evacuation? Boss, are you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Um. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood. I don't think this is gonna work out for you guys. Help, help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball. I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. Hey, check it out. That place. Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? Oh yeah, I remember them. To all guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of um. evacuation to the designated safe zones or compulsory measures will be enforced. Nope, nope, not happening. I'm Topaz! For you lot. You've been told not to drink during work hours. Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to prop I didn't expect her to be here. Report should be written. Topaz? Miss What's up, girl? I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. She's missing her stone. <sighs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Aventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Any contact from your guy? It's fine. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Yes. All right. Okay. It seems you're on the job, ma'am. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier Prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC stuff now. I can't imagine why. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. I wonder if he stole her stone at the same time he possibly stole an invitation? Maybe she was supposed to be the one attending the banquet? She's certainly more diplomatic. No wonder Aventurine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, 
Are you not? A little more than dirt, Let but me know yeah. If you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partner as well. Oh, I appreciate that, Topaz. Somehow I don't question her as much. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Yeah, quit pro crawl. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. All right, uh, let's talk to her first. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? Exhausting. I bet you're not used to it. Yeah, no, I'm not. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. <laughs> He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. Mm -hmm. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. Well, it seems to be working out with him so far, until now. But Venturine's luck has always been good. Mm -hmm. Never He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. <laughs> Which is why, on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. Huh. Yeah, it works only when all parties' interests are aligned. Of course. It's business, after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. How very, very IPC of you. And as for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. No, we've got a all fair amount of info. I'll ask you to keep digging for more details. Well, that's what we're going to be doing anyway. Appreciate it. All right, uh, let's go talk to the Bloodhounds. Hi, guys. We saw you watching. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? Weren't you the two who were tailing me in Firefly? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. Aha, uh -huh, so you were. Time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. Yeah, I, I know. That's not what we were going to talk to you about, though. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. <laughs> Bit slow, Stell. I got you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we meet again. Uh, uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. You shouldn't have been afraid of me before. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? Because I've beaten up a lot of people. Next? <laughs> yeah. I've got business That's with right. your captain. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to your captain about the case? Oh. Uh, well, yeah, where is Gallagher these days? Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their trap. Before he returned from Dream's Edge. Oh, so he's at Dream's Edge. Nice. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Yeah, appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Well, why don't we just look for the security officer, then? It's probably Gallagher. Yeah. The one she mentioned, right? Yeah, he's the head of the family, right? All right. All right. See you, Topaz. Thanks so much for hanging out. Talk to you later. All right. Off we go. Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Yeah, they seem to be. Gallagher. Gallagher. Where could he be? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Constructing dreams. Dreams are supposed. It's Firefly's spot up there. Apologies. In the background. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. I think we'll probably be authorized after this. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The, the gray haired one. Yeah, I remember you. We kind of tweaked your emotions a little bit last time. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacone? It's a long story. <laughs> uh, you think you look alike? I think we do alike things. 
<laughs> Another victim of our clockwork, yeah. Wait, are you for real? Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. I didn't exactly beat you up. More like you took a swing at me and then you fell down and started screaming. Uh, uh. Uh. I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave. <laughs> I have to get on my knees and beg you. I mean, you can do that if you want. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? I promise it was not as bad as it sounds, Marsh. Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. I mean, what, you don't know Gallagher? Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Y yeah, that's... My guy, that's Gallagher. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Well, is he going by Tiernan these days? I don't Everyone, know. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? I mean, we we, we could. I, I wouldn't mind a little clockwork today. I'm really sorry for troubling you. Let's think of another way. Another way. Oh, that's it. Didn't they say something about that? Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind. I don't think he wants clockwork. Can perform it again? That, uh, clocky magic. I mean, if I have to, I will. Please. All right. Sorry. No can. Everyone, please leave. Think he's a traumatized this guy? Do it again? Yep. Okay, let's do, let's put him in a good mood. Happy. Start tuning. Let me see what time it is now. Hmm. Oh, it's this time already. What? Yep. Time to clock out, and no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> he left. Uh, what? Huh? Yeah, I know. It's we're magic. trick of yours it's kind of dangerous yeah i know that's why i put everyone in a good mood in the dream <sighs> at least he won't be getting in our way again let's go find that gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case yo gallagher oh, time the oh there he is huh. oh it's you guys welcome hi gallagher you made it here what can i do for you hello mr gallagher sir judging from your tone it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. I think there is. You are sir, after Mr. all. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express. <laughs> oh, father. <laughs> oh my gosh. He reminds me of the cool uncle, you know? Or, like, a very much older brother. I had an encounter with this lady in the golden hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there, too. Yeah, yeah, she was. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. That's why we're here, sir. Yeah. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it. Mm-hmm. In the hopes of getting justice for her. She will be- it'll- it- justice, yeah. <laughs> the nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Is it that unpredictable? Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. That is a very much a deflection. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. 
sounds like there's a lot more emotions there than you're letting on, Gallagher. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. Okay, we'll believe you for now. You want to discuss the case? Sure, come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. We're right within earshot of the Dreamweavers. Okay, at this moment on the other side, are we going to get back to Mr. Yang and Akaron? Yeah? Or, or Aventurine? After that yes! Tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Yeah. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. Grandpa, yes. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. Yeah, it's pretty much if you look at the the um if you look at the the data bank, it's like the family is Jipe. Pretty much. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Hmm. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Huh. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Pinacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. Maybe. But the human body has its limits, and so does the divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Huh. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. <laughs> Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Okay. This collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. Okay. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. My brain is going a certain direction. I won't say anything about it until I have more evidence. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Interesting. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Yeah. Whether you're living your life in reality or in a dream, everything ends with death. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became hmm. the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you also, where are we in the dreamscape? With me? This looks like the OT mall, but I've never seen that that's ahead of us. Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. I know where we are. I know where we are. Doctor, I was like, isn't Dr. Edward supposed to be here? No, he's like off this direction, like off the right edge of the screen. Of course. That's if I were. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of her sword. Then quickly lets go in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Huh. Take your time. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacone. Ask away. Okay. Let's find this out. Daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the Dreamscape, is located. Okay. Behind the Dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Okay. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. Interesting. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley Dreamscape is the best reward. <laughs> there I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, huh. her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. 
gilded hour. So she it's said to be Penacone's current. She was sister. helping someone. Is that the final wish? Yes. It is a fortress like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. I want to visit all of these places, but I don't know if we'll ever be able to. Funding blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone huh. there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they've earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault's door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way, unfazed. Okay, well, um... They're saying some very interesting things. Uh, Panacone was built on America, right? Right. Uh, so, everything that they've said so far, the consumer of manufacturing manufactured goods, place where everyone works without ever actually seeing the fruit of their labor. That's blue hour. The blue hour is very romantic. Capitalist consumerism court. Yeah, exactly. Any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Eventide anchored along the Sea of Dreams. Okay. The soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Dang. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. I don't know what to make of that. Finally, we retreated to the beach. I don't know what to make of that, but there's obviously some deep meaning there. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism, the moment of dusk. My companions have been there too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Huh. Or have realized them. Scattering money is through a dust and betting it on all or nothing. Huh. Everything has a price. <laughs> Sounds like a place where adventuring would, would thrive. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there, who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid, under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his thirteenth. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. I do not need to elaborate on what that means. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. Hmm. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago. Yeah. Nor should it be. I've traveled no. through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. Watch the tides of night this is rise and fall. Horrible. When time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire. Well, no! Just a second. No, no, no. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? Yes. Because there is a kind of escapism that isn't destructive. 
And that's what it needs to return to. Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. Are we gonna get Welt's background? There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. I don't know who he's talking about. Please don't tell me who he's talking about, but I know it's from Honkai Impact 3rd, most likely. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. Like Atlas? As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. Wish I knew, but I don't want to re-download it. Okay, but I got it, got it, yeah. Who wished not to awaken that this spiritual got it, got it. became unbreakable. And yet... You stand here right now, which also means that man failed. It's not exactly like that, I don't think. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. Hmm. And that man... He was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities Is of it Welt Joyce, possibly? His heart. I don't know anything about Welt Joyce, except that he was a harisher before Welt he was Yang. The sun chaser. Icarus. Soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun place not visited by anyone before his wings would melt because of it only for him to fall into the sea and after that countless others would surpass wow. him, soaring to even greater heights i love mr yang's ex explanation a fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit thank you mr yang i know what you wish to confirm the universe has innumerable similar, yet different, worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. I, too, have embarked on journeys, encountering old I love lis just listening to, their, to the voice worlds, actors. They're so good. Witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told... It overlaps with my past. Oh, does it, Raiden May? In that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life. Alone. <sighs> wow. I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind. So long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, different worlds, planets, or other universes, I don't think it matters, honestly. Is it that has motivated your solitary journey? I want to make a video. I want to make a video about the different variants across the Star Rail universe and what that means to be a variant versus being the the person themselves. I don't know what Mr. Yang, before Ride May is. Answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I do know what Mr. Yang is, though. He's not a variant. He is Welt Yang from Honkai Impact Third. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. <laughs> this is making me want to. Yeah, I love it. Their ancestors could only. Aren't there also variants of them in Genshin? Them. Yes, but we don't know exactly how it works. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, 
the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling. Yeah, it's definitely a very different kind of game, but I love it. Thought it was kind of like the branch of the possibility tree. See, that's what I think the relationship between this and Genshin might be. But between the, the relationship between this and Star Rail, there is a direct connection. Direct. As in, spoilers, if you're playing Honkai Impact 3rd, mute for just like two seconds, or sorry, like ten seconds, but literally at the end, the protagonist, like, boards a, a skyfaring train. Literally. That's, that's literally what happens. So there is a direct connection between that game and this one. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the Kiana, sky? Kiana, yeah. Only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness. Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? Hmm. Are we switching perspectives again? Black Swan! Okay. Do we get to see one of Ifrit's children? Candace, I believe it was. Uh, this isn't Acheron. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Oh, best boy time? Nice, nice. This is a big info to think about. Never finished Honkai Impact 3rd. It is it is huge information. Though I don't know exactly what you are, or what you're up to, my bullets will find you. Oh! Until this is, what's his name? The, 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 the boot, boot, boot guy. Boot Hill, thank you. For you, imposter. Oh, so she's not a Galaxy Ranger is what it seems. Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Boot Hill. Uh, uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. That's terrifying. Also, it just occurred to me we haven't heard from Sparkle even once this update. I don't know what you're talking about. Unless she's about, in disguise. But you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger? Yes. I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? She isn't one. She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt. But you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. Dang. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. Oh my goodness. I like Boo Hill already. a simple answer. Sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. Dang. Maybe she's not an emanator of Nihility. Maybe she's an emanator of something else entirely. An eon that we don't know about yet. Oh, we're going back to Aventurin. Oh my goodness. Our guy. <laughs> You look pale, or is that also part of your act? Shut up, Ratio. Huh. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. 
After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Yeah, and you got him killed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites. Oh my goodness. Be my the Council of Mundanites. <laughs> my. What an honor. Oh yes. my goodness. And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them. Because I'm the manager of this task. I don't like Dr. Ratio anymore. Oh my goodness. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday oh convinced my gosh. me that there's a traitor in the family. He's not giving up! They hold the secrets of Pentecost. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. Was he already in the plan? He was already planning for this. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. From my understanding of the dialogue, I think Aventurin told Ratio to be Oh, really? Oh, really? Doesn't- that's- this that's is say. great. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Nope. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. Honestly, why did Sunday think that was Which a good idea? Desired. Killing an IPC person? Unless he's not actually going to die. That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. Who knows? You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> it sounds a little more contemplative than he usually gets. Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? Little gift? Oh my gosh! Ratio just goes! You catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> oh gosh. Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing-headed scoundrel. What's this a placebo since we know in the dreamscape things aren't really real at that? Yeah, that's very possible. But the way you're all on edge about that stone, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. Okay. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Is he just gonna like give money away now? Items obtained. Mundanite's insight. Okay. To Icarus. Oh, this is interesting. Dance macabre. Look, look, look at the way the the world around us. See, it's all like RGB. It's all RGB. Okay, let me see something real quick. Oh hi, hi adventure in. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Let me let me let me see here. Da, da, da. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Surely this is all you need. Look at the corners on your screen. That's one of my favorite things. Yeah, I noticed! It's, it's everywhere. I love the things they're doing. Hello? Monsi, thank you so much for the follow. Ah. All right, how many warps do I have? Seven! I need three more. Okay, you know what? Let's, before we, let's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna take a little break from this story quest. Because, because I'm heckin', I'm heckin', yeah, overwhelmed a bit. Let's play Cosmodicy. Wee! Three. Ha ha! 
Um, remote dice. Okay, well, let's just do this, why not? Close is a big one, I like the length of Ming. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna use up the rest of this. Yay! Okay, Pela's long awaited Tale of the Winterlands fan work publication has finally arrived. It's limited edition and not available for pre order. Thank you for the stretch, I appreciate it. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I did not expect my my feelings to switch on Adventure in so fast. Just as she's in the queue to buy her copy, a squad of Silverman guards with anxious expressions approach her. Uh, work has arrived on her door. Now she is staring at you with imploring eyes. You can't just stand by and do nothing. Here, um, here we go. How long do you usually stream for? Like three hours, four. Sometimes I go as long as six. Here, let's retry. Come on, come on. That's nah, fine. Continue. Which road should I pick? Uh, let's go here. Yeah! Yeah! You bump into Branya on her on her own at the Bellabog Museum's History Culture Hall. She is staring blankly at the portrait of Colia, evidently enjoying a rare moment of privacy. Even if Branya has grown into a reliable Supreme Guardian, she is still her mother's daughter. Maybe there's something you can do. Um. Here, let's do this. There we go. Yay! That's sweet. All right, I'm using up. I'm using up my uh, my stuff here, and then I will go probably. Go continue on the story quest, not end stream. I just needed a little break so that I can heck in. Um, yeah, so my brain is not insane. Brain is not loud. Yeah, I'm not ending stream anytime soon. Start game. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, pick me. Um. Nice. Hey! Wonderful. These are so cool. I love this! Okay. Oh, hello? Um. Here, you know what? Let's do the stone grill dome. Why not? Okay, six. What is this? Since solving the Stellaron Crisis, Bellabog has been constantly undergoing plenty of change. Even you might not recognize the differences, but you will never mistake the trash- Wait, do you think the Ulm tastes like chicken? Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a tiny bit different, but... Yeah. Your most familiar friend, Bellabog's calling card in the Snow Kingdom's Guardian. Oh, right! You haven't paid them a visit in a long while, have you? Of course I have. I visit- I visit the trash cans all the time! Here we go. Woo! Go one, two, three. Okay, the Rightful Rights Society internal teams will cover for one another, helping their members avoid their families and companies on weekends or even work days, so they can enjoy a day all to themselves. You received a missions day to help certain diligent employee to avoid a superior insane over inane overtime. You realize that the target's office is poorly ventilated. Um Change your identity and barge forth. Why not? Why not? Continue. Wonderful. Alright. One, two. Yeah. Three. Director Topaz wishes to fund your trip to Ta Taikian to get your feedback on the experience. She's footed the bill for all accommodation meals. Um... Don Hong and March 7th also went there before, but you haven't. Perhaps this is a reason that Topa has approached you. What do you think? What, how do you see this work trip? Work trip? I'll have fun. Yeah, it'll just be a nice and it'll it'll be a nice time. Yeah. All right. Da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da 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 All right. 
All right. Purchase that. And we'll get to the end here. Woo! The end! Yay! Okay, your old friend Sampo has been arrested by the Silvermane Guards, but this time you're perfectly sure he was framed. The Silvermane Guards have the wrong person. It's up to you to help them. Okay. Um. Yeah. If they're, if they're gonna get him for a crime, just make sure he committed the crime. If you've been requested by Jupar to deliver an emergency shampoo. <laughs> I strongly dislike Sampo. I did initially. I don't anymore. To deliver the emergency military supplies to the garrison squad at the snow plains before sundown. But along the way, you run into a smuggler band on the verge of death. They need someone to help them return to the city. Yeah, of course, we're gonna save the smugglers first. A mine occupied by vagrants was discovered during the underworld's land development. Wildfire knows that they have impeded development progress in the surrounding towns, but also understands that vagrants have rights too. What will you do? Sampo's that quirky friend. Bandits, I'm the only bandit around here. Ask both sides to negotiate for your sake. Here, I'll do this. Bike Club's proprietor, Scott, says that he hopes that you will join the boxing tournament to beat up a scrawny contender. It's all voluntary, too, so you don't have to be all morally torn about it. He guarantees that you'll make a killing. You will. Yeah, I can't beat up someone who's... Okay. Alright. Got it. Woo! Woo! Claim. Wonderful. La 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 Hmm, I'm not gonna use that last one. Woo! Oh my gosh! We have gone for a little ride. Alright. Mr. Jian tends to research an artistic piece, intends to research an artistic piece about the Luofu sword champion Jing Li recently. He says that in the Capturing Boracean Wolfhead Hule chapter of Jing Liu's 13 Miracle Moves that year, when the Boracean wolves armed the lands like dark clouds, the Cloud Knights were at the ready, laying in wait. A streak of moonlight pierced through the enemy ranks, shining its light onto the wolf pack's leader. Mr. Jian looks over to you. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. Let's try this again. Come on. There we go. Ta-da! Yay! Wonderful. Okay, well, I'll save that last one. Wait, how do I, huh? I've gotta, I've gotta do... Land, land tiles, how do I contribute? I've got to do a thing, right? Okay, you know what? I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's- it's this, right? How do I- how do I do the contribute- contrib- contribution? Ah, it's fine. Goodbye. Alright, adventuring. Oh, is it- is it just me or has it gotten worse? Movie critic. Uh, the world Did you finish all your things for now? Yeah. Its way. We got some gems for ya. You. Wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? <laughs> you youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never. You don't know now? Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, hmm. I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death. Oh, well. Let me give you a piece of advice. This man is incre don't incredibly you're jaded. The first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, what a disappointment. The effects were awful. 
First, some monster covered in eyes oh? stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry oh? glimpses of buildings and lights. The sky was spinning. Dr. Old Ratio. Make me puke. <laughs> oh Is my goodness. That all? Yeah. What else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Pentacone movie industry. That doesn't Even sound like groundbreaking art. That doesn't sound that sounds like what we've seen. <laughs> Ratio old. Well, Ratioed. Maybe, then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. It does. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. No. Well, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Yeah, probably. <sighs> I can feel something inside my head. <sighs> Is the harmony starting to kick in? Oh my goodness. It's like, I want to help him. <laughs> Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep Hello, Rose. beauty alive in the cosmos? Wow, how fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Nothing to lose. Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, if that's you sweet. A chance, please. She had a, a little mini quest. About her. It was adorable. I love the costumes in Pentaconi, by the way. Everyone's outfits are just beautiful. <laughs> sure thing. Um, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's hmm. a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this. I'm not talking dream. about the Kakona quest. Um, That one's different. There was a whole quest with Kakona, who was a singer and. and had to give up her dreams, but then she's different though. She also wanted to be a singer but couldn't and then decided to to I don't know, I don't remember the details of it, but it was it was a, it was a nice little quest. Oh well, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe you could help me out. Mm -hmm. No, she did. She did. She sang a song that not a lot of people could, like, appreciate. It was, like, ahead of its time or something is what they called it, I think. Well, if you're up it was a beautiful it, song, though. It's not about death. It was just very unique, so I can understand it's a bit of an acquired taste. Who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but... Luckily, the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she they protect us? Unexplained <laughs> coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. I don't know how unfortunate that is, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it, as long as we're trying to get information. <sighs> ah, the disturbing voice in my head. <sighs> it's getting closer. Oh, oh my goodness. Sip of liquor. A blissful reprieve. To drown a thousand sorrows. Let worries leave. He's a poet? <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. I mean, it's not bad. Oh? <laughs> Bachi the Rock? I don't know. Giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Oh, no, no, no. It's not like that, sir. It really doesn't matter. I've got to just get rid of these. Otherwise, they die with me. That's enough. This is just a dream, after all. You really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Not really. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the Devil of Soul Glad. <laughs> what is the Devil of Soul Glad? Is this another name for the meme? The Devil of Soul Glad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. It's a seahorse with a long neck. Okay, so this guy is definitely drunk too much, Soul Glad. They say it loves to appear to junk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> this is a, a a lot less funny than you than you seem to to to, to think it is. <laughs> yeah, very funny indeed. Thank you. Yeah, let's get out of here, my good friend. <laughs> Oh gosh. We won't have to go through so much torment before joining the family. Will we? <laughs> Death meme do no, look like a seahorse? My brain and Not really. Evidence. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. I'm wondering if Gallagher would be able to help at all, because we know he's connected to Mikhail because they were both on the Astral Express. Most likely. That's that's what I think. Uh. Huh. The expression of the tongue of a man is complex. If you were looking at a mud-soaked sparrow unable to fly and nearing its you end. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and... Have them wake you up forcefully. I mean, that, uh, I don't think it'll work. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually, hmm. I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, Nutty, thank you so much for the sub! 16 months, oh my goodness. Stowaways recently. Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Penacony? Yeah, how? I've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work then. <laughs> thank you, Nutty. You're awesome. Uh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. They wouldn't, would they? Oh my goodness, Base Buddy, thank you for the sub. What? That's now for this stream. What the heck? Hi, Blue. Also, I see the hello there on my screen, but I didn't see that. I didn't hear it, so I'll just say General Kenobi. <laughs> Hi, Base Bunny. How are ya? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, poor adventuring. No. Community, thank you for the bit, Blue. Barrel. I I don't like what this. Thank you. I don't like this. I don't like that I hate Sunday. I really do. I know that this, that, that Aventurin brought it on himself a little bit, but this was overkill. That was, that was evil. Were you one I'm never one of a fan. Yes, Sorry, you are. I thought you were checking out something behind me. <laughs> yeah, here, there's, yeah, those are yours. So it's, it's horrible. Are you sure this isn't some? Literally, of he's like his he's dug his fingers into Aventurin's mind and is like ripping it apart from the inside out. Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Oh, I hate this. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift, not for my parents, but for me. Oh, that's I remember Beryl. Thank you, thank you so he much. He has a complicated relationship with his father. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? No, 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 no. It's not that. Neither. I just wanted to know if you've never heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. He's an Intellitron, so... His dream entry methods are different from us. Oh, days. can't count on him to protect me if something does go. I'm gonna toss you a DM on Discord right quick. Okay, bunny. bunny. Right now, I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How I gotta be lurking. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Give me a second. I will check out your DM. Oh, it's not there yet. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, I 
hate this. You want to talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Isn't she like the um I think she is the heckin' newscaster lady, right? Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. The reporter? Yeah, she seems nice. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale? Handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? That seems like what's where I'm headed. <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigator, I hear the thing. Maybe you've heard something about death. Okay, yeah, Bunny. I'll I will read that uh, more fully after. I like to be able to devote some I some see. memory space to it. <laughs> kind of in the middle of a story quest that has got me fully enthralled. The industry, but my boss shut it down. Okay. Okay. So Uma, you now you know some things. You out of it. Okay. Thank you so much, Base Bunny. Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. <laughs> so say they all when there's something to I cover up. About it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. I mean, not exactly, but can you tell me about what you were researching? I mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Oh, oh Uma. The devil of soul glad. Dangers in the dream. Who's this child? Or Papeshi, I should say. She's not a child. Oh. Oh no, Aventurine! You Sigonians are better off hiding. Sparkle! Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? Oh my goodness. I can't hear the are you winning son, but I see it there, and I I I am. Aventurine is currently not. I don't like this. This is painful to watch. <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? No, I don't think the Sunday liked that. I don't think the Sunday would like that. I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? Oh, no, that's nothing about that is straightforward, you freaking... And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. Oh, shut up, Glitter Glue. Okay, um, Stream Elements. Thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. Wait, where- how many subs is that then? That is- Four? Five! Oh my goodness! Friend gets to be rainbow today, guys! Oh, we've also got a hype train. What? Oh, the hype train ended. <laughs> I didn't even realize we had one! But we did reach a hype train a little bit ago, guys. Thank you. Guys, I've decided to call Sparkle Glitter Glue. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. You kinda, kinda did. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Wait, is that what death does in a dream? It makes them... Lightning just hit my brain. If something, if someone dies in the dream... Then they become a part of the family, unable to leave, unable to speak their own mind. They're just part of it. <laughs> that's why they cover up the death so effectively. It's because they've done it all along, and that's their sacrifices. The family's ritualistic sacrifices. They talked about this. But it's a good thing, if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth. 
Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. Didn't even think about that. It's interesting. If that doesn't turn out to be what's going on, I'm making a video. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Will she? Why should I help you? But that also means that Robin has been dead this whole time. She couldn't speak in the real world even when we saw her at the very beginning. It was a it was a it was a a harmony illusion. So she died. She did, but it was years ago. And the memory bubble that we saw was just projected there as if it had just happened. Wait. Okay, Don't okay. I think I'm onto something. Into chaos. Didn't she well, die inside the dream? I don't- I am starting to think maybe she didn't. They've I said pretty clearly. The Back then, when you asked me to find a mute. They said pretty cl- they're, they're, they're implying all over the place that Sparkle and Firefly were not killed by the same person. That that's that it looked like Robin was killed by the the thingy, the 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 like by death, but that it, that there was doubt. There was doubt. So maybe she was killed by it, but a long time ago. Did you really mean Robin? Hmm. Oh, there's the thingy. There's the bird. Memo Keeper dragged Trailblazer away from Sam and Acheron. Yeah, and then we saw... We saw the memory bubble, but that's... But when we saw Robin dead in the dreamscape, that wasn't Robin herself. That was a dream bubble of Robin, right? So it's very possible that Robin died in the dreamscape, or it's possible that that is a memory bubble of something that happened in real life. Either way, something's weird. And what if I say no? Who was the mute? Then I'll thank you. It's the bird on your stream over. <laughs> The word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated. Then who else is it? But what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now. And the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Him? You mean Sunday? Maybe not. No, oh, I'm completely he sure knows. I was on the right track from the beginning and never He knows. Fool. Who okay, who was he after at the beginning? Not Ratio? Right now there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. Oh come on, why can't you ever just say what you're thinking? Maybe Misha? Very possibly Misha. Oh. I haven't learned anything so far. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't, don't give me anything else. No, I don't think that's it because Misha didn't speak with distortion in the real world, unlike Robin. Not exactly. I've got but there's but there's something interesting happening there though. And that's enough for me. Lots of thoughts that's about him. Don't give me anything else because all I'm getting from what you're saying right now. No. My t keep in mind, this is a theorist you're talking to. Every if you say two words, I hear ten. All right. If you say ten words, I hear a hundred. What I'm hearing here is that we don't learn much more about Misha in this update, okay? Think that is a great theory video idea? Okay, so don't tell me anymore. Don't tell me anymore. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Misha couldn't communicate with anyone except us and fictional characters. Yeah, which means that he wasn't a robot. 
necessarily. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't, but what he really was is constructed. I call him a memo form. Memo form. He was built out of memoria. But still created. There is another possibility that he is... No, he's not. Never mind. My brain just like, but wait, what about... No, it doesn't work that way. Never mind. Okay, I've got to still think about this. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. Will it now? If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Panacone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? That is just so sparkle. Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Sparkle, you're... She's a bit insufferable. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Huh? Oh my gosh. How on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> He's like, what the heck, lady? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. Who are you working with, Sparkle? <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. It wouldn't surprise me if Sparkle is working with Aha himself. For their work. self, I should say. By They're the a bit way, of a plural eon, too. I have too. no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Panacone. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. This is going to be interesting. And at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. So even if he dies, there's, there's a way out. When that time comes, go ahead. Press the button. Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. I don't want him to die, though. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I don't want to know that me. happens. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. She would do it just for funsies. Just don't let me down now, okay? Interesting. Interesting. All right, where are we going? Hmm. Oh, what is this? So, number 35, you're back. Oh. Like your new lucky charm. Don't, don't call it that. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence. Commodity I give code? You permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. All right. Someone hand me the baseball bat. We're going hunting. I'm gonna smack someone in the head in a video game. The guys in black didn't say much, so I've no. Wait a second! No! 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 Massacre back in the day. That's Gallagher's voice. Is it the same voice actor or is it the same character? Who is what? If that's actually Gallagher, I am going to hurt something. No. No one deserves this. But I figured you must have had good luck. So I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are That's not clear? Gallagher. Never mind. Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Man doesn't even know the number of people in his care. Are you kidding me? You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. I am going to baseball bat someone in the face. But 
You look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. Okay. My heart is going way too fast right now just because I'm angry. I... I would like to take a... I really wish that I had, what do you call it? Like an actual punching bag right now because I have got a plastic sword, well not plastic, it's made of something durable that can stand being thwacked against things repeatedly. That's what I want to do with it. I've got a sword in my closet. I want to smack it against things. Pull loads of ew. I don't, whenever there's, okay. My opinion of Aventurin has completely changed. No one hurt him. Like, no, no one better hurt him. They are going to get thwacked. Repeatedly. Hard. In the face. I could continue, but I won't because I don't want to get... Oh. Okay. I can't. How old was he? How much did you spend? What? My price. How much did you pay for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well... It was 60 Tanba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 Tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 Tanba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, well, you've got he learned how guts. to gamble with his life. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. I'm gonna break a tooth from how hard I'm grinding my jaw right now. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky. Shut the fuck up. Oh my gosh. I hate this. Okay. We're continuing. Okay. Get me away from that for a little bit. We are going to save Aventurine. We will. Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. No, I wasn't either. I wasn't either. It's one thing to, like, say, oh, this happened. He was a slave. He bought his freedom by gambling. With his life. It is another to show it and to see what he went through. It is horrible. Oh my goodness. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? Isn't that against the family's words, Chauvin? Pure joy and laughter. <laughs> what would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Okay. Oh, a lady as cool as Serval. I wouldn't say quite as cool as Serval. Take care of my boy. I'm, I'm, oh my goodness. I'm, yeah, I'm a similar mind right now. I'm still gonna go Acheron, but at the same time, watching him go through that, just like, I don't, I don't have words. I can't, that's like, I, uh, I, I, I can't. I refuse. Oh my goodness. Who's Serval? Will you, uh, introduce me to her? Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Okay. 
Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I like am having diff a difficult time even just like focusing on what's happening right now because I am so upset. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that you think it's exactly why they thing. showed it. One thing is hearing, yeah, yeah exactly. It makes me feel bad that I ever felt. It makes me feel like really bad that I ever thought he was annoying or pretentious or insufferable. It's like, okay, my man, you've got a right to a little bit of style. You've got a right to a little bit of attitude if this is what you went through. They're all you know? on the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> Hey, my friends, do me a Yeah, favor. it does. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. Okay. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Nice. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. I like that. Oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. <laughs> March, calm down. Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, mm -hmm. and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Sweet. Only then My brother's a bartender. He makes things for me sometimes. It's so cool. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. All right. Well, I'm still like shook up. Oh, what's oh, here? Hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. Okay, a what few are they? Days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must huh. have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Drink break from the heavy stuff? Yeah. How is... Hmm. You're not supposed to bring your burdens with you into the dream. What happens when your burdens are so big that you can't put them down? <laughs> That's a clever metaphor. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place filled with monsters <laughs> is quite a feat. It is. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? A few. You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. All right. Um, items obtained. High stakes. Ooh. Hi, Himiko. My girl. Space mom. I'm so glad. Yeah. But I thought they didn't sell so glad at the bar. <laughs> Let's give it a shake. Nice. It's still busy and has a long shelf life. All right. Um. Yeah, uh -huh. it's no good for the drink until it's all I... shaken up. Let's just leave it here for a while. And it'll be all right. Why don't they? Glad in this bar. Did something happen? Maybe it's only for the high level people. It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's true. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. Makes sense. Well, that's quite a stash. Classic sure Soul Glad. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Um. Uh huh. What's up? Huh? I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi. The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. A talent of what? You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. They want her to be like an actress or something? Come with or a me. singer? We'll become the talk of Penacony, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really 
need you. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Oh, well, someone's desperate. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just one moment. <laughs> you okay, Siobhan? Her deal. We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Is that the point? Hey. Can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? I, I, uh, I'm... Maybe. Yeah, I'm counting on you. You okay? Alright. What's your name? Uh, Amiki. Hi, Amiki. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. Um, just you sound a bit agitated. Leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Siobhan just said anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different kinds of drink ingredients. Alright. Calm. Let's go. Let's try angry. They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. I mean, it sounds like she it's really wants to be here. Scheming. I don't think so. Oh, I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. Mm, pretty sure that's not what's going on. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back. And write a letter to the Dream Master. Who's the Dream Master? Exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Um, no. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Um, calm down, lady. Okay, let's let's try this again. Why she won't leave? Let's try this again. I know you're angry. Let's try happy. I've seen it. The moment. When Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild, applause crashing like waves, the aroma of irises fills the air. Someone has Beautiful big dreams. Playing, ribbons dancing around us, and the taste is sweeter than honey. I've seen that hmm. scene countless times in my dreams, and every time, it mesmerizes me. That's why I have to bring her back to that world. No matter what it takes. I'm pretty sure there are ways to do things like that in the dreamscape, but... Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream. Huh. A Amiki poured Pico white grape soda into your tall glasses. The rims gently clinked. Okay. I didn't taste. Still not leaving. Maybe I'll have. I just don't get. What All right, let's try. Sad. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never. Amiki, are you in love? I I'm still. Holding on to her, I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine. Poor Amiki. Stepping into the spotlight. sounds like a bit. There might be something unrequited items. going on, or maybe and she's just wanting to be a star. Be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past, and you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Oh, poor Amiki. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. Okay. The emotion turns into liquid filling your goblet. 
Well, a little bit of longing sprinkle. Yeah, exactly. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. That sounds like a good idea. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Okay. Amaki has left? Yep. That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please, keep the money. Okay. Um, I think you may have misread the situation, Siobhan, ready, but I don't blame you. Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Okay. I'm excited to see Gallagher craft some drinks. Recipe, eternal endurance. Ooh. Gallagher! Show that us a thing. Said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. Oh, come on. There's got to be more to it than that. So go ahead. Explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Okay, gather the ingredients nice I need. Work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor. Okay. The base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. Okay. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Okay. Um... Let's use Soul Light as the main. Than juice and more bitter than dream syrup. Dream in a bottle. That's a metaphor for Pentacone itself. <laughs> nice. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? Okay, um... Let's go Eternal Endurance. The taste is not very intense, yet evocative. After those despicables sent Mikhail away, oh. I found myself lost in the wilderness of my dreams. Mikhail got sent Same away. The dirt here oozes with sweetness. And you knew him, Gallagher. Oh, Once again. A stoic bitterness. Mikhail. Almost yeah. There. Let's pick a decoration. Which style? Ah, oh, yes! So we're learning right more! Um. Coin shaped lemon the IPC's slices. Favorite. Hmm. Ambitious, aren't you? Not really. I just like lemons. Well, it's done. Oh, Here's it's beautiful. You, watcher, with this glass of the long goodbye. I love it. It's beautiful. Bitter childhood. Oh, Accurate, but rude. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Yeah, it's, it's oh, awesome. Flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid <laughs> I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Really? Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? You gonna clam up? Mikhail. It does sound familiar. It does. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? Yeah. <sighs> gonna clam up. I was right about you. <gasps> We're gonna hear everything. No yes, Gallagher, tell us everything. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case, and of course. I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Oh, we're gonna learn more, guys. We're gonna learn more. All right. 
Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. Okay, I'm actually gonna run to the restroom real quick. I'm sorry, I'm going to the bathroom so often, but I mean, I drink a lot, so. In other words, she's a stowaway. Lore dropping coming. Yes! Okay, I'll be right back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna learn about the history of Penacone. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, no ways are common hey, sight. I see you, I see you. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing, we only received bad news. And the tricky is kind at that. She simply vanished. Mm -hmm. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacone at all. Huh? Does that mean... Is she, uh, mm. Different? Are you suggesting that girl wasn't actually killed? Come on. Aren't you a witness in this case? Yeah, it's a little more complicated than that, though, well, I think. Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Yeah. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Penacone, if I understand correctly. It wouldn't surprise me if it happens fairly regularly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. I think you do. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. So it sounds like you're not part of the family, I guess Gallagher. it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? It, a distress call. There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone. And thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. He knows. Did he send out the invitations? Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? Makes sense, makes sense. I'm okay. Sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. Yeah, yeah, that works. I even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. Yeah, the watchmaker seems to be the mind behind the dream, but the family took over, is what it seems to have happened. And it doesn't seem to have been a very good taking over either. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacone and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long an time. An enemy? But the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the 
characters and stories he created. Really? Okay. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world? Inviting you here and causing chaos? Hmm. So you want to see He didn't. This they didn't to expose the watchmaker. I don't think that's what he wants. Although acting in his capacity as head of the Bloodhound family, who knows? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized He didn't answer the, the question to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacony. Really? And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. Once again. So the meme is connected to him. Yo, that was the part that I was the most unsure about. You get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family. Yep. He's the watchmaker. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Theories are getting confirmed. Sometime later. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Clock Studios Theme Park. The most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Hmm? Wait. Aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected... Oh my goodness. Confirmed. Like maybe a library or an archive room of sorts but an amusement park well if he only lives on through like his characters what better play to the place to look the city reflects its history in the most authentic way to you it's a fun place but to me it's a prison for the planet's past you know that Penacone really used to be the ipc's prison planet right all the prisoners were brought here, huh. helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. Another theory that seems to be connected. Prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams. Living lives that were almost identical to reality. I am so proud of how closely my theories are linking up with this. Oh my goodness. Has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. Is that Mikhail? He is Hanu. Hanu! The great leader of Dreamville. The great peacemaker and the faithful companion of the underdogs. Hanunue. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. I'm gonna have to look at it a These little closer now. Not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the Boss past. Stone. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. Boss Stone, like the Stone Hearts. Clocky time the watchmaker. So the watchmaker is connected to Clocky. Hanu is connected to the prisoners. Boss Stone is connected to the IBC. That's why he's the bad guy. Who was Origami Bird then? He's the he's the protection that Misha offered Mikhail. But then what does that mean? Okay. This is this is amazing. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. Maybe trying to keep They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows okay. What it's for. Yank. Hi. Sing with happy chirp. Yeah. Bye, lucky bird. Where's here? Just a second. Where is? Here, I'm gonna go map. Map. Clock Studios. Where is the heckin? Um. Star Rail map. Where's where's the thingy thing? Fate's Atlas. Oh gosh, this is huge. I don't remember where Fate's Atlas is. Okay, it looks like we're not terribly far from the end. 
quest menu? Oh, that's right. Huh. Oh. So many of them. Dang it. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. It's interesting that he's talking about them as if they're separate from himself. Well, it's a masterpiece from the family, after all. Besides the followers of the preservation, the family members are the best at creating mind-blowing marvels. Yeah, seems to be. spot and continue our conversation. Yeah, let's just just be quiet. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters yeah. in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. Yeah. In animation. He's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It might mean that Mr. Soda is Gallagher and Miss Mira could be Rosalina. It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, Omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around? They're answering all of the questions. Centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him, so maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? The question of the hour. I'm 13. No, you're not. No way. Not even close. 100. Anunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker hmm. approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penaconi finally gained its name and glory. Okay, okay. Thus, he became known as the father of Penaconi. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No, I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. Really? I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family. Oh. To Mikhail. Oh, what did you do? no. I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penaconi. But the Oak family, they set us up. And you did nothing to stop it. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else. Oh my goodness. They continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world. Behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Oh my goodness. We wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor. The one responsible for all this and restore harmony to Penaconi. This is horrible. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog, the family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, what happened to I him? I heard he died in obscurity, in no. a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penaconi I once knew would never return. Oh no! I'm truly sorry for what happened, but this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker. Misha. Secretly working Misha. against the family Misha. all this time. Misha. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real, 
or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dream. That's also a possibility. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the no way it can't. It's gotta be connected to the watchmaker's legacy, and at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. We're gonna find it. It really is Mikhail's ghost. I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. <sighs> Gallagher, I've told you good all grief. I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. <laughs> no need to thank us, Gallagher. Mm -hmm. uh, something just happened at the theme park. Now, I think it's interesting me, they're not showing us his face. To all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Who knows? We're gonna find out. Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. I still stand by him being Tiernan. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery. His stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker. Mm -hmm. His connection to the family and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Okay. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. Sunday? And the death is related that to the Watchmaker? Up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. Yeah. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Hmm. So now we know that there is a Stellaron on Penacony as well because of something that Sunday said. That is most likely the secret to the Watchmaker's power and what he gave Misha. This is all, it's all coming even closer together. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. I mean, tell the clock that's running next to me. Not currently, but he often does. Speaking of which, that clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Well, I'll, I'll try and point him out to you if I ever see him. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt. And see how things are going on his end. I think this is this is coming to a close. Yeah. Mr. Yang, our investigation here has come to an end. How's the progress on your end? Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that family might be hiding something extremely important. We are headed to Dewlight Pavilion. Didn't adventure and say she was dangerous. She's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Okay. Acheron, point of view. Are we gonna get any more from Aventurine before Are you end here? Worried about you? Probably. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. This is a dangerous place, a that's for sure. Ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Let's figure this out. Anything that I can grab here? Ooh. No. Well, this is still open from Aventurine's Something escapades earlier. Off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. What happened? Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? What happened this then? This door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Akron draws her blade slightly. Within the moment, her breath became imperceptible. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but... Got it. I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit in... She's a fascinating person. All right. Screen four. Nice. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? 
Yeah, looks like it. Maybe the heads of the family used the footprints here are different from the rest. Two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Okay. Grab that, grab that. Um. Yeah, let's not worry about running around right now. that hmm well there aren't any people in this mansion they've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place they certainly have this is where it ends still waters of all right come on Acheron Good grief. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision. She's heckin' powerful, that's for sure. Try that again. Gotta try hard some watch this awesome move. I cannot wait to have her on my team. It's gonna be amazing. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. Alright. Hello? She's so fun. She's really fun to play. Ow. Do that. Here, I'll, I'll top off our health. To anyone who's played this before, do you know how long there is left in this story? Because I would really love to finish it tonight, but if it's going to be like another few hours, then I probably should end. A.V. Strachan, how are you doing? Before Son Hung to come to- I did. I wanted him on my team. He's my favorite character. Not too long? Okay, good. I was so disappointed when I learned that Don Hung was not going to be here. At least one hour. Okay. Looks like instructions from the butler. I'll speedrun it. I'll speedrun it. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require I don't take pictures. Manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. Okay, got it. But no matter what their main priorities are... I'll have to stay quiet because there are people upstairs, but I'll pull my mic a little closer to my face. How about that? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Hopefully it's not a trap. No, but I don't know why. I'm fine with long streams, but no one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. White? I don't know what she's doing there. How are you doing these days? I intended to you know, do like pavilion is urgent matter. Hello. Cappy, thank you so much for the raid! Hi, everyone! We are playing- Oh my goodness, hello. We are playing Star Rail, the new update today. Please do not put any spoilers in chat if you've played this game already. How did your stream go, Cappy? How'd you do? Oh my goodness. Will you be posting this VOD on YouTube? I will. It'll be on I Am Emma VODs. So go ahead and check that out if you want. Cappy Guru's hoping I would- Oh my gosh! Welcome to stream! I hope the stream went well. What did you play, Cappy? How'd you do? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I refrain from trouble you have. It. Urgent matter compels me to share with you immediately. Since my return to Pentagon, I experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by my by exhaustion or illness. Um, My voice worsened over time. I experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I realized that harmony in Pentagon is not pure. That's right. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either powerful external force is pulling the streams or if a senior memory of the family. Ooh. Yep, it's all pointing to Sunday. It's all pointing to Sunday. Oh, you paid Stardew? That's so cool. They got discord. They do. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. With the Charmony Festival on the horizon. So he killed her because she was getting too close to realizing that he was the one. Oh no. Did he kill his sister? Who's playing the kazoo in this harmony? I don't know. I think it's her brother. He's the only true family member I have left. This is another matter here. During my investigation, I learned about the memories on meme death. She knew about it! My further inquiries lead me to believe that the culprit who directed cause um it's the aforementioned traitor. Okay. Okay. So it's Sunday. This is all pointing to Sunday. This is all pointing to Sunday. I'm gonna write it on my little notepad. Sun Sunday is meme. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Gotta hop. Okay, Cappy, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for stopping by. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hope you had an amazing stream and I hope you have an amazing evening. Okay, during the investigation on the memory zone death meme, uh, I've collected more clues and I'm prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparation for the Charmony Festival. Once you've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Sunday shirt is a character. I don't trust him one bit, and this is only getting more sus. Don't see the dreamscape all this time. Spend some time in reality when you're free. I brought some specialties from other galaxies. So she was not just a sister, she was a as good as sister. As the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet oh, us. Oh my goodness. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. Mm hmm And now it seems I was right. Have you considered Sunday is very hot? Is he? Is he? Because all I see is a jerk. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. No, there aren't. Meaning? It's another Eon? There really is a traitor within the family. That person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. It's Sunday. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. No, it's because it is Sunday. Will you pull your head? Will you please for two seconds? It was so hot of him. No, that was so not hot. That was disgusting and horrible, and I will have nightmares. You just discount Ayato. Just why? Just 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 stick with Ayato. He's nice. He's kind. He's got a cute sister. Oh my goodness. Is that you're reading into him? You just need to look at him on a surface level for the hotness? No, 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 no. I read into everyone. I read into everyone. Ayato has ninjas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayato has ninjas. And what does Sunday have? Mind enslavement and chicken wings. Okay, a male hello was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme. While sunbathing on the beach in the moment of oasis. Can't tell anything wrong. Mori, a male from Sianzhou, entered a spheroid in the golden hour and mysteriously disappeared. Sunday has OCD. Sunday has problems. Um. Later exit. No sign of force entry exit. It can ignore physical barriers. Emaka. Oh, look, it's me. A female human participated in a talent show. Sounds like something I'd do. But accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared in the shadows below. Oh. The culprit is swift and skilled at disguises. Caution is advised. How can he be evil with all those angel motifs? You mean the multiple eyes that also match the meme that's been killing everyone? Oh my gosh. Weber, a male Papeshi, fell down entering an office. Killed by an unknown meme that just suddenly appeared. The memories. Preferred to attack wounded or vulnerable. Chemet, male Papashi, was taken away while flipping over a card at a casino. Flipping a card, interesting. Jumped under the ocean of the dream bubbles in the blue hour in an attempt to impress. Okay. Most cases are related to the ocean. Only two cases are related to the ocean. Oh, dang it. 
Wait, let me see. This was the first case. Culprit can ignore physical barriers. Culprit is swift at disguises. It prefers to attack the wounded or vulnerable. Sunday does care about his sister. It's possible that he made a sacrifice. He is not opposed to sacrifices. We know that. Sweet James Troop. That's possible. Um, Bloodhound attacked known meme. Female human disappeared while visiting the film history gallery. Culprit demonstrated speech ability. Monk. A male Intelligon was attacked. Female I'm, I'm skimming these because I want to kind of speed run. Mirror. That's possible. Miss Mirror is the name of one of Misha's imaginary friends. Sunday, my god says it's okay for me to enslave you and make you join our family. If your god tells you to enslave others, then your god is evil. Chloe, a female Intellitron, was attacked by a meme. All witnesses, okay. Dark or dim environments, is sight really a trigger? Carissa, female Halovian. Hey, Matt. Abducted. Dorian, taking a nap. Marlo's... Disappeared after being involved in a car accident at Golden Air. Witnesses reported the presence of an eerie meme who fled underground at the scene. I'm not seeing, uh... Yeah, there's not much of a pattern here. about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. They must be commonalities that don't have to do with situation or place or trigger. Like... May have more to do with who were they with? Were they with more than one person or were they alone? Were they researching something or what? Some it doesn't. The rumors were right. Hmm. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's I very much disagree with them, Matt. Best. I swear, if I were in the same room with Sunday, like, in real life, at this point, I would not hesitate to rip the chicken wings off his head in a video game. That man needs needs to pay. This light cone is securely guarded. It yeah, it's him and his minutes. sister. When they were kids. According to Robin's interview, Despite having performed Who's Sunday? so many grand Him. stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. Wow. I wonder how their relationship. How did he become that? Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah, time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Okay. What else is here? I've been informed about Robin. I would like to express my deepest condolences from Alfalfa. You hold the position not only her elder brother, also is head of the Oak family. A family. Critical period. No, don't engage with activities others can use against you as leverage. Dedicate. Oh, hello, Beck the Beetle. Thanks so much for the follow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. For six hours? So I streamed for like ten hours when the last update came out. I'm fine with that. Strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments from the other family heads while you're con convinced that death is connected to the watchmaker. No, s the death is connected to Sunday. I have met that watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, and I have never found any evidence linking him to the memories on me. It sounds like... Sunday wanted to create evidence that would allow them to go after the watchmaker. Maybe he blames the watchmaker for the wa for his sister's death or something. Okay. <laughs> I 
10 hours? Yep. 9 and 45 minutes. But yeah. Okay. Um. I assume that these are gonna end up back in our- back in our, um... OT. Oh yeah, OT of the Alpha family. Seems neither the Sun doesn't, no, he does not. Tony, nor this old OT is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Yeah. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. No, it's One more like... Sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. I will feed friend at the end of stream, Matt. Thank you. What are these? Investigation into all suspects of uh, being included. The findings are summarized below. Ryan, general staff. Okay. Short red hair. Enigmatic figure. Bringing cigarettes to class instead of textbooks. Peru. Peruru. Obsessed with soda. What? Huh? Perhaps there is a common thread among them. Wait. Blonde hair. Gray curly hair. Dark curly hair. Tall stature. I don't- I don't see the- th This list was surprisingly important later? Well, then I'll look a little closer. Long gray hair. Do but a fan of Clocky. Well, I can understand someone taking them out if they didn't like the watchmaker. Um. I see the woe health be upon me, Matt. Thank you. Connor. Okay, sleep well, Matt. Connor, Professor Paper with Fold Fa Academy. Enigmatic figure. Short gray hair. Brings cigarettes instead of textbooks. Okay. I'll never Mr. get it. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be Guess so. But I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. No, that's However, that's exactly that's exactly what's going on, Acheron. Really exists. Could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. No, I don't think that's what's going on. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Can you imagine if Sunday uses his harmony thingy on one of them? Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is a guest, Mr. Yang. And Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can. can you, I will not imagine that, Beck. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know. The crew has officially accepted the family's commission, so coming here will be unnecessary for you. He's gonna go after the actual the Astral Express crew next. I'm On I'm certain contrary, of it. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here to ask you about the case. Do you guess it's probably to be invisible. Information. <laughs> Don't. Maybe it ran out, ends. or maybe it works a little differently than we think. Mm. Or maybe he can just see well, through it. Since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. So he is going through all of these people, slicing and dicing his way through people who could be the Watchmaker. But he's also doing it to make trouble for the family so they start taking the Watchmaker seriously. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I 
I have a question for you. Also, why is your stuff bright blue? How did the family was purple. come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival. Hmm. And the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. I don't think they're involved. Well, other family they want things, but they tend to be neutral. Suspicions as you, but in my opinion... The true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. Oh, you sh- no. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. Funny you should say that, isn't that exactly what you're doing? Yeah, Sunday, Sunday. I I don't think you were here for that. I like that that disgusted me. The way he treated adventuring. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. Yeah, that doesn't mean he deserves right death. Now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the clock studio's theme. Oh, he's there himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up? He's cooking up the scheme you put him on by threatening his life. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Okay, we're getting a venturing point of view. Ugh. This is taxing. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. He was probably like, oh, not this again. Yeah, I was making the point that he has religious trauma, probably because of, like, the stuff that happened, um, on his home world, on Sigonia. And how he, his family was always talking about the gods and how he felt like they never actually got the protection of the gods, even though everyone was saying that they were. And so, um, Sunday's way of speaking and, and everything must be so taxing for him. This fraud case has been linked to many Triggering. departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild. Causing a large drain in manpower and resources. He has so much survivor skill. I want to. I want. Oh my goodness. The <sighs> should never have to endure that. Originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter, and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Okay. Is this Diamond? No, that's not Diamond. Oh, no. He's so- are you kidding me? He's a slave. That's not. That's no. What pretty eyes. Tell me. No, don't Do tell me this is going where I think it's going. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. His fire. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet. You went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme 
fail to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. <laughs> what do you want, then? Huh. I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? Does he know? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Oh my goodness. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance, which is why you should call him here. Interesting. The pity Diamond won't see you. <laughs> no one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas, I'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth, status, power. So even working with the, the IPC, IPC, he was not free, was he? Want, even what you don't want. This little thing on her shoulders reminded me of Firefly's little ribbon. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though. You deserve to live, to create even more wealth. Did they ever free? I don't think us. they did. Go. Pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then? He's not free. He hasn't been free. Well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. He's no longer- No, it's pretty much the same. Is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things. Oh, I hate this. The correct outcomes and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Hey, thank you so much for the woe healthy upon me. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? If that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. You've always lost adventuring. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? Wonder just how powerful Diamond is since they showed him he was the most important person, but we don't even have a voice for the name. Yeah. Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure? Two known emanators of preservation. Dang, okay. Never to return. What? Aventurine? What? Who is that? What? Huh? Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? I think it's a bit of both, but neither are your fault, Aventurine. Oh, he's been on the edge of death before. By a mannequin warlord. Who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. <laughs> the harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's him. Not the first time we've met. 
I have some ideas, but that's a spoiler too. Okay, thank you. Taravan? Okay, I don't know anything about Taravan. Please tell me that he doesn't die and this thing takes his place. Why not? Nah. -uh. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> this is the VA's first VA. Are you what kidding exactly me? Are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. The harmony. First, I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. I'm going to be elevated into the harmony. Head to the central stage of the park. Well, why are there no get Just a Papashi? Huh? No. A child. Is this Sparkle? I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Try checking the quest menu? Okay, I will. Oh no. Read the descri the question descriptions in this past? Wait. Quest menu. Okay. Okay, bagel fan, thanks so much for stopping by. Eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're just like his. Said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. It's him. Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? I. It's really unsettling how he's looking directly at us. They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is in game. <laughs> Mama Funga. No, no, it, it can't. Okay, just a second. Catch, okay, you are completely entranced by the Abjin boy. Just who is he? There is still time. Maybe you can catch up to him and ask him exactly what he is? Aren't any Abjins left? He is an Abjin. They were not getting all the sad tales, yeah. Oh, this poor kid. Okay. The message will change as the quest proceeds. Wait for me. Child. Oh my goodness. You will receive no charity on that. Who are you? And, relying on your own and is it just me or is he growing more solid? <laughs> Not a likely fate. Which is why once you step into the hotel, it's, it's more it's another FNAF theme, by the way. Replace replacing people with clones, copies.
Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he Screw have. what Tom Riddle Chamber moment? Kind of. Step one, grab child. So Mr. Rogers quote, there isn't a person in the world you couldn't love once you know their story. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience, you fool yourself. Oh my goodness. Madden getting exposed on stream by your FNAF moment. <laughs> Wait, is that poking at me or a venturing? way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to I like that cool people are complex yes <laughs> of course of course i know you all too well but it's strange why did you decline that invitation you had the chance to embrace elation that's right that he was going to be a masked one. fool but you chose the idea. exactly beck <laughs> Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Let's see. Oh, what gosh. Mean, anyway. Okay, we'll find more about that later. Let's follow this child. Let's get a chest. Oh. We're back to this again. Okay. You okay? Not seeing anything yet? After the agony in stonier places. The souls and cries. Prisons, palaces, reverberations. Check this. There's nothing different. <laughs> Whose thoughts are these? I have no idea. Ah, playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. I'll examine it a little closer when I'm doing a video. Once it switches from that particular step, try checking it. I will, yeah. You are completely introspective. No, it's still nothing. Okay. Let me see, where are we? Not yet when- okay. Is the blank text because he's dying, maybe? Okay, so weird. This is like the last little bit and then we've got that. Huh. 
I don't think this is Shipei's doing. The Harmony family is doing stuff here, but Shipei herself... This doesn't seem like something that she would care about. It seems like... The family is trying to kind of make even other emanators servants of Shipei. They're overstepping their, their everything. I hate that he's alone in this, you know? Completely ruined that sugar. <laughs> Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? Dad, oh my goodness. The the guilt that even something like that ruining your dad's last shirt after he died. Even something like that. It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Oh my goodness. Your social capital has changed after all. Just shut up. What even are you? Who gives you the right to speak? I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. For the last round of hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy. child could he be in here let's grab that where are you he who was once living is now dead we who once lived are now dying now it should have changed you are unable to cover your past you are unable to cover your past Where is he? Where is the kid? Is this? Ah, <gasps> the topaz. A topaz. What is this doing here? <sighs> oh no. He's gonna go insane. What does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart? <sighs> I was merely curious why it was here. Doesn't sound like something he'd do. Just to make you realize that you okay, maybe it does. Therapy speed rounds. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Quipon's body. I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of love. This is not therapy. This is torture. Just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say that Dr. Abby was superb. Okay, so it was planned. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. And it just went too far. Ratio's a bit of a jerk. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. You spoke of the same to Sunday. And it sounds like did not expect what happened to happen though. Third stone right out from under them. 
the third stone. Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Pure mind. It's our mind. Double personality? He always gets lucky, apparently. This is the other cornerstone in sunset. Harmony Force Ghost, kind of. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? What is it called? It's not Aventurine. <sighs> Is it emerald? Jade. Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for Aventurine, too. Huh. Sauce for the goose. Aventurine, Topaz, Jade. <laughs> I see you, Jubs. Dang. As I've said before. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. All or nothing. But three chips are enough. That's line. what he meant. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is. I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble it. I think we're in for a boss fight, guys. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. <laughs> you smashed the Aventurine stone before you left. What? Look at it. What? He... He destroyed his own stone? Shut up. Oh, you idiot, Aventurine. Well, Diamond has always it might as well be in the eyes of the IPC. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost. Thief, I mean. The ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens. The yeah, I got it. The cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Why does wow. every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself only come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? <laughs> greater the risk, the greater the reward? Except I don't think that works when the risk is unnecessary. If you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the reward, hmm. I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Okay. Now the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Okay, what the heck? Huh? A child. Hello. We Weird eye child. Okay. Yes. We meet again. 
Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flip. A flip? You mean a film? <laughs> I think you mean film. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. Oh my goodness. Put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You'll look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. That'd be nice, little kid, but... <laughs> Sure. Maybe we do this? Ready? What are we even doing? Okay, um... Clip the flip, but okay. Close. What is this? This is a jarring change. Okay. What, huh? I am so incredibly con confused. Huh? What are we doing here? What, huh? What, what is this? Okay, nice. Safety car. Great. Um I'll 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 do this Not some bad. other time. Not a bad Why? Why in the middle of the story? <sighs> Boring. Okay. What, huh? Okay, I'll deal with that later. Gonna catch up to the kid. Ignore me. Want him to have some fun? Oh my goodness. Um. Then what are you? This crazy illusion Why that keeps following us around. You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there is still. He's just messing around. Completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, Check the questions. Okay, I will. Okay. I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. So it's learning about him as it follows him around? Okay. We're back to that. Um... There we go, okay. Okay. Nothing. Here is no water, only the rock. Rock and no water, only the sandy road. It's not much of a maze, is it? Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. He was such a... Such a child, you know? The things that people have done with him. A dead end? Oh. You cannot escape from the past. Oh, is this the wrong way? It's thunder. He does deserve the world. And I say this as someone who initially hated him. Wait, where do I...
chains. Is this... Don't do that. Not to him. Don't do this again. It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. It was hardly a job. You made your first pot of gold. <laughs> I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that vein, you... Shut up. That is not true. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, now we're getting to the, the heart of it. Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger, but you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. They could have. Oh, like this is the only place the family ever cut corner. <laughs> could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager estimate. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. Pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of He keeps making daring risks because he thinks it proves strength. Only a good death. He thinks it proves strength. Because it means that he that loss doesn't bother him. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponent would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. Are you gonna tell us? <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on Oh my goodness. That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Where is he? Oh. <laughs> Amongst the rock, one cannot stop or think. Wait. Your future never existed. He's stuck repeating the same patterns that got him in the situation in the first place, hoping it'll work this time. This is brilliantly written, really, brilliantly written trauma. Like, how, how to respond to your own trauma, you know? How people tend to, 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 to get trapped. Have you ever noticed people, it's, it's like time stops for them. Literally, they're stuck in the same moment. He's still stuck back as a little boy who lost his parents and sister. He's not changed at all. He learned how to, to be good at what he did by risking everything. <laughs> Please give him a happy. I want a happy ending for him. What is this? Expression right now is hard to put into words. <laughs> the lucky charm on the left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? Because it was from his mother. You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry a necklace and a lucky charm. His voice is getting there echoey. Never be a third piece. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must 
remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. That's also not a healthy way of dealing with trauma. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? Not your resenting it doesn't mean doesn't that it doesn't hurt. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told me to. There's more to it than that. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. Yeah. I think I finally get you. And woo! You are nuts! That's literally... I am... I need the baseball bat again. For himself. Stuck to that from start to finish. Now think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. Yep. Fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. He wants to die, isn't it? We'll know when the dice falls. You self-sabotaging, self-destructive idiot. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. Slash affectionate. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over. But you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing. <sighs> it's so quiet this time. He deserves so much gone. better. Or am I the one about to dis- Okay. Thank you for the hydrate, I see you. Hmm. Failure, discarded, selfish, useless, pointless, coward, murderer, gambler, blessed, discarded, loser, chosen one, mother's goddess, mother goddess is beloved, crazy, murderer, blessed, failure, discarded. It just goes over and over and over. I thought he was just gonna be an idiot. I thought he was just gonna be, uh, just... He had the appearance of a spoiled, like, like a trust fund baby, you know? Spoiled rich kid. Gambler. No. Dead mountain. Dead mountain mouth of- <sighs> Finally. Made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't- He's honestly a super smart character there. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay. He's presented for Dr. Who's cruel reality. He deserves to be able to, to live past it and heal, though. It's so fun here. But dry, I sterile thunder without rain. But red, sullen faces sneer and snarl. If there were water and no rock. If there were rock but no water. What is this? 
We get to play the part of the prisoner. Okay. So we're gonna shoot Clamby when Hanu gets his Hanu launcher. So he's be going. Whether it's in the past, present, or future. We've unlocked the Hanu rocket. Cool grunt. Yep. Okay, what are we doing? Can I just like the subway surface again a bit? Oh, it's a little clearer. The edges aren't quite as distorted. Is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. Alright, let's get the jigsaw puzzle. We'll get that later. I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling. It makes me more curious about you. I can't imagine why. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Mm. You're going back? Yes. The scratch is all over him. Yeah. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. Okay, kid. You're home. Where is it? Sagonia. What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. No. <sighs> no, that's not true. It's Sagonia. This amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. They do. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? Dead. I feel so bad for him. Oh my goodness. You're tired. He is. We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Their past and future. How long will you stay? No, do not die on me, Aventurine. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to the yeah, exactly. towards death. <sighs> the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. But you've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. The way that they focus on little, little him when they say that is heckin' horrible. Wow. Um. Never has healing felt so insidious. It's like I almost want him to stay because that's what what healing feels like, you know? It feels like that's what healing is. But it's a lie. The entire dreamscape is just a lie. The 
That's not what he deserves, though. Don't you dare. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Don't do it, Aventurine. Uh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple, no? That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you... You'll just have to dismiss the leash, leave the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. Wait a second, did I miss something or is he actually going to be free? Or is or are they just lying again? The first time, you've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and it's curtains will No, okay, they, they mean it in a different way. That's so not true, though. So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. So Diamond sent him on a suicide mission. <sighs> it's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. This is not worth that. The IPC taking over Panacone is not worth Aventurine's life. You will keep winning, having never lost before, but why you? Why must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more. If these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Guyana. Mm -mm. <sighs> this is so heartbreaking because the only world he's seen is the world that confirms that, but there's so much more to it. This can be beautiful and, yeah, tragic, but it's stunning and full of things that are beyond understanding and show so much more than this and it's worth living in. to where I'm going and look back I'll know what the trip was all about fine time to make a move my friend I'll be waiting up ahead say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off it's it's best to die without regrets don't do that I don't think he's going to die. I think they're building up to this. I don't think he's going to die, but I hate it. I hate this. Kakavasha. It's in quotes. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Sure. Come on. All right. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your <laughs> expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? This is 
I can't leave yet. Oh my goodness. I know who the boss fight is at the end. I know we're fighting adventure in. Hallucination rather than any particular person, really. Yeah, exactly. I still have a His own future go. ghost. Oh. You're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. If there's any way to win this fight without killing him, I'm going to. Your clothes are so stylish. I'm actually a merchant. But I do have a show to do. Always oh, another one that is setting you. Sky? But who is that on the but other side? Not wearing black. Only ordinary. Get on the stage, fear not, never look back. Your employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome! I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Oh, don't say that, kid. That hurts. <laughs> of course you can. Over planes, endless. You'll be better. Into cracked earths. Than me. Stumbling. No, the child did not deserve that. He doesn't deserve that, okay? Kid or otherwise. He never did anything that was actually that bad. It's time, guys. We're gonna end this. this the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. The horrible thing about this is he's going out there with the full intention of dying, with the full intention of killing himself, of killing himself. It's not- it's, oh, I can't- I'm gonna make myself even sadder. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Maybe he's undecided? Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. Oh my goodness, there's that religious trauma coming back. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakabasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. I am crying. I hate this. End up with nothing. Rain is a blessing on that planet, right? This it's a horrible inverse of what's actually going on. This is a trick. An act of revenge. Remember? Today is the day of the Kakava. And also your birthday. They know the Abjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons. Oh and my take gosh. They want. <laughs> Mr. Atta, what the heck? Little do the Hadikins know. This time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Katakins stand no chance against them and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the Katakins would never take action. And we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra. And yeah, it's it's the IPC. Kakavashi, You're right. Whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me. Well, Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. 
she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Abjan will never run dry. So run, Kakafasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. Highly suspect the, uh, the IPC have always been fairly neutral. Rain will bless you. Unless it comes to gathering debts. As for us, Collecting debts. We will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakafasha. News flash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. Oh, the no. IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. So the IPC the is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain oh, towards the IPC. No. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. Oh, no. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. And the IPC did nothing. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings. Regardless of life or death. It's just words, though. Race, it already happened. Ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? He's gone. <laughs> Imagine his sister's I... alive. No. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like this. Okay. I don't think he's gonna die. All the actors are in place. But it still hurts. It's time for the show to begin. The sad- how did they this animate that sadness so well? You. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Good luck, Aventurine. He dedicates it to his past. The, the person is a go, child. I have a personal question. You. Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume. Just assuming now. That every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Okay. Trailblazer point of view. Let's go. Is this Ms. Acheron? Hello, I'm Imigo, the Astral Express's navigator. I want to speed run it. Hello, I'm March 7. It's so late for I'm me, sure oh my goodness. Needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. We've met. You can call uh... me Clocky. <laughs> the March's face. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Not particularly. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Mm -hmm. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. A little more than that, but... Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. <sighs> We're gonna have to go find him. You want to create a situation where... Um, in a minute, yes. Are present? There must be some... 
deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. Well, I'm glad you at least I see that well. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Yeah, Assuming I'm worried about that. Escalate to that stage. stage. Having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Yeah. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. Okay. I'm the bone of my bat. Stellaron is my body in Trailblaze. I'm gonna You're be weird. Talking weird again. But it's a good vibe. <laughs> no matter what, we can't ignore this. I love being just the random person who p quotes random, ill-fitting poetry. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trail? Small attempt to lighten the mood. You yeah, have to. Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, Never not be the trash gremlin when playing Stella. Exactly. I will accompany you, of course. Thank you, Acheron. But where do we start looking for him? Pretty sure Sunday dropped a hint. No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. Oh, Aventurin, this is so dumb. <laughs> Look. The self-destructive fool. Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurin's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Oh, he's he's a self-destructive oh, fool. I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. We have no choice. Mr. Yang. Hmm? Okay. Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. I was expecting that fight yet. I or thought, yeah, same. A long story. If there's Someone any way to do this without life. killing him, I will. <laughs> I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate, in the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, Yay, thank you, Acheron. I, I like her more and more, although I think my like for adventuring has outweighed her if at this point. My meager strength is required. <laughs> you have a black hole in your brain, young lady. Young lady? Alright. I'm gonna switch out him for him. And we're gonna go. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Yeah, he wants a show. Uh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? He wants the grandest death. Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. They nerfed it in the past 24 hours? Okay, good. Adventurin? Don't do something you'll regret.
Oh, I don't like this. He's being an idiot. He's alone in everything. He doesn't have to be. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> well, I will, naturally. But before that, <laughs> I've got to introduce mm -hmm. our guest of honor. Mm hmm. Everyone, give it up for Miss Demeron! Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. Oh my goodness. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. Three? There have only she been two. is the key to proving that the family is dead does not exist in dreams promise is nothing but a sham three homicides that's right madam the third one is about to happen no right adventuring no right no no, no. in clock studios theme park no 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 a truly grand he's truly sacrificing himself for the sake of the people around him Don't do this, Aventurine. Stella, you will become the personification of death. Not how this works. <laughs> oh, don't underestimate the preservation. He w he's the he expects to die. He expects to die. Either way, it proves that death does not exist in dreams. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny oh, no. accident on Panicone. BAM! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC Queen's navigator. He doesn't expect that to happen. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. He's playing the part of this of this cackling, mustache twirling villain because that's what he's seen as. You want a bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. That would certainly do it. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's he won't. Another he won't. That's not his plan. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia. For just 60 red copper coins, people paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows. He's speaking it. He's he's never even gotten he has never gotten this vulnerable with anyone and now he's doing it in front of the the whole of Panacone. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No. I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying sleep is the rehearsal? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. He's not afraid of death, though. Friends, the game has not at this point. And you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or crown. Oh no. The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. 
The architect's flawed stone. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, see you, Strike. Oh no. Here he goes. His broken stone. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. All right, this is gonna be interesting. Don't get careless. I'm gonna make it do that. Yeah. I'm guard. <laughs> All right, shields up. Shields up again. Try hard Freeze. Follow my charm. Here, it's thunder. Can you All right. <laughs> Okay. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. I don't want to kill him, but I don't have a choice right now, I don't think. There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. Show no mercy. Okay. Let's do this again. He's still so HP spongy, it looks like. Dang. It's okay, I'm fairly good at dealing with shields and health. And rationing my, um... My heckin', um... What do you call it? My skill points, yeah. It's okay. It's just gonna take a while. I got this. Still have the AoE for the dice and shields you'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. You gonna do it again? Ow. It's got him. There's no time to lose. Here is thunder. Tough luck running into me. I hate this. I hate this because I love his character now. I don't want to kill him. But I don't have a choice. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Had to bring Acheron. So I'm I'm here dealing with two four stars and two five stars. But they're all like extremely high level and have really good relics at this point. What I would get a Jephard? I need a Jephard. I don't have a Fushuan. There's no time to lose. Here is thunder. Show no mercy. Okay. I'm so sorry, dude. Lance ablaze. Lance <laughs> Try it again. Try it again, dude. Okay. Got him. She's gonna blow it. I have a Clara, but I haven't done anything with her yet. She's like the next on my list upgrade. Oh crap. Okay. Four. Okay. Follow my charm. Here is thunder. Down from the top. I'm on guard. I don't. Oh my gosh. Gotta try hard. Some watch. Oh my! Don't hit him too hard. Come on! Don't hit him too hard. <laughs> And the other part of me is conflicted because, like, he's gonna die anyway, you know? At this point. Lance at the ready. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh gosh. Follow my charge. So his dice pull energy. Long regretful fight, yep, I hate it. I hate it so much. Six, okay. Oh my guy. There's no time to lose. Come Show no mercy. <laughs> Have a newfound respect for him after the whole quest. Still probs don't pull from me. He's a great character. Yeah, I really want Acheron because I want to run around as kinda of myself in the game. Follow my chart. But um I will at some point get adventure, whether it's this banner or a later one. Either way, I win. Oh, come on. There we go. Nothing else from just the Jingliu banner. <laughs> I understand. I don't have Jingliu or him. Because we run a space enough from other characters, I want a go for him, but usually it doesn't work out. Yeah. I just pull on every banner and hope for the best is my strategy. Because I want to get all of them, so. Okay, we are almost on the second phase. Not too bad. So it was harder than this. It used to be harder than this. Jing Liu, Blade, and Topaz. Dang, Pog. I don't have Jing Liu. I don't have Topaz. I do have Blade. Okay, most likely gonna lose. Ooh. That's better. Here we go. Easy. There's no time to lose. Here is thunder. Oh, poor, poor Aventurine. I hate this. I hate this so much. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. Follow my charm. Come this I don't wanna do this. Like seriously don't. There we go, okay. It's all oh gosh. We've gotten smacked. Show no mercy. The only tricky thing is the dice, yeah, and that's like completely random. <laughs> there we go. Here we go, got him. Maybe five. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. Conflict is pitiless. Not each other. He doesn't do crazy amount of damage. Maybe three. Lance of Blaze. Lance. One. Got it. 
My turn. Okay. Follow my charm. Here in thunder. That's a clever, a clever thing they've got going there. Okay. Time for the man. 82. I'm like counting down his health in my head. 80. Again, seriously? You got this, it'll be a slug though. Yeah. It's all Don't stop stop that. Time. Okay. Show no mercy. 73. It's time. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. 64. Alright, my guy. Sixty-two. They put so much thought into this, oh my goodness. Follow my charm. Conflict is pitiless. My turn. Okay. I will I will say you're very correct that this voice actor put his entire everything into this. 57. Fifty-three. Thunder. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with these because it's not going to work very well, so what I'm going to do is do this. Okay. Wonderful. So it's going to go after Natasha and March again because it doesn't quite work. Fifty-one. Fifty. It's one percentage point at a time until that happens. Two. Okay. We're still mostly at full health with shields, so I mean. Nice. Okay. Just a matter of time, yeah. Okay, I'll do this this time. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> Time for Show no mercy. Might have nerfed damage, then again, most of my characters on the squishy side. My characters are not. I guarantee you. All right. Is three sustains too? Yeah. Lance at the ready. I've got my own way of doing things, and it works for me. Get ready for major lore. Okay. Thank you. 
Oh, a <laughs> little bit of... Time for the... A little bit of glitchy Shoulder glitch work. there. Lance ablaze! Lance! They used to say stuff and clinched it, yeah. This is just how it works. Try hard stuff. Watch this awesome move. Oh. It's time. Poor adventure. It's like I can't I can't do anything. This the, the story is propelling me forward and I'm like, no. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Please don't kill him. Inside is so cool, it is. I'm on guard. 11. Seven. Okay, dice time. Oh no. This isn't great. Well, uh, that worked. Perfect alt. Yeah, that was amazing. There we go. Okay. See, if I was able to get a, an ult for March every time, that would work really well, but... Okay. Hey, Wiki, how are you doing? We're almost at the end of this. How close are we? 3%. Oh, I don't want him to die. I'm so sorry, buddy. Everybody's like that. Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that free? Oh my goodness. Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? And where did we go? Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last ship. Only by casting aside reason does one truly gamble. Oh no. Oh, Acheron, what are you gonna do? Only by casting aside reason. That's him with his aha. Oh, he's so gonna die. This is not. No, don't kill him, please, Acheron. You're leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentecost. What do you hope to find within a dream? Is that Mikhail? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Hmm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if... Mm hmm That's not what I want. I think this is her past, not Panacone, so not Mikhail. It could be. It could be that she met Mikhail in a past life. Well, in part of her past. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never Could be Sigonia. At anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together. Isn't Mikhail like old, reach. old? I mean, yeah. Or dead. And this shadow. Silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. Mm. Mm. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes. Am I the same? Oh my goodness. You still have a strand of color. But not much. Akron's goal was to retrieve the Watchmaker's legacy back when she was talking about. Yeah, but she said it was specifically um, the 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 last wish of a friend, of an old friend. That is enough. 
Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. <laughs> okay, cutscene. Oh no. And here she goes. Oh my goodness. The departed, weeping like rain to swell the crossing stream. Oh. Oh my girl. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Oh my goodness. Oh my, what was that? What are those? Those stars. And it never rains in Pentaconi. <gasps> Aventurine! Are you alive? I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning, Chubbs. My boy, are you alive? What is this place? Uh, a gigantic black hole. And see... Have I... Have I succeeded? Oh! <gasps> she replied. I want to die. Welcome to the sad world, Kakavasha. You have reached the final end. Bid your farewells to try your best to die without regrets. I don't want to die. No. No, oh, I'm running in place. Come on. Let me out. Let me out. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Abjin have. No oh, kid. No. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. He just wanted the to be free. He never wanted any of that. Want, even what you don't want. He just. We will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. He just wanted to be free. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Where are you? There she is. Melody, is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you. I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The Nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more Nihility. That's all. So that's what she became? <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, 
We momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it. I can't I don't think Akron wants... No, I don't think she does either. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Tell the truth, my boy. Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. She knew. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. She's very, very special. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. Hmm. That barrier they build keeps death out. I'm trying to take this in. But it also keeps the secrets that difficult. are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless. He's always been on his own side, but the things that benefit him weren't money, fame, and power. Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. We will go to the other side of the barrier Maybe next time. Tale. We're the only ones who can. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Wait a second. Is it us? Because we can only say what the game allows us to say. And we know that the game is aware of that because of Elio and Kafka and everything else. We can't speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacone. Unless it's Firefly. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these conjectures is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders... Could be Firefly, could be Robin, could be us. It's clear their intent on covering their tracks. Yeah, they say our Stellaron friend. But that could mean us. That could mean Misha. It could mean Firefly because she's a Stellaron hunter. It could mean Robin. Maybe Robin has this to on. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. Call the person she... Okay, got it. Or simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky. 
that fate has decided to let us cross paths. He's always been lucky. Apparently. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade, sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning, deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Please. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others, leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. Please, let him be free. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy, both are essential. He got everything he wanted. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. I'm seeing a lot of discourse in chat. It makes me think that I need to talk about this. Detonating a Stellron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Sounds like he's saying I'm worth nothing every single time he talks about it. It's so not true. Live. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. <gasps> yes! Your gamble is not over yet. Acheron, my girl. I love you for that. He doesn't get to die. Not yet. <sighs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me why are we born into this world? If it's the camera just was on his time. neck. Yeah. I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. I don't think it is. But it is still there. It is. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? Because this isn't a game of dice and cards. The world is bigger than a gambler's table. My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. Mm -hmm. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. The end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Okay. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. So he's not dying, is basically what she said, though.
Ah. Oh. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. <sighs> okay, Dr. Ratio. I no longer hate Dr. Ratio, guys. I don't know either. I think he cares about adventuring. <sighs> then I shall get going. Hey, Mister, you. You're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. Yes. Because they are not here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. Yay! He's choosing not to there die. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gaiath or Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, he won't die. I should be preparing. Preparing for what? I'm well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha to make them proud. My boy. Mm. I want to give him a huge hug. I'm so proud of him. Look at how far he's come. I know you'll be able to do it. He's come so far. Oh my goodness, we are winning. We are winning, Chubbs. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. Oh, you know there's... Ooh. Maybe you can help. I want the trailblazer to know. I know, but I want her to know. What do you say? One last time, put our palms together. Sweet, oh my goodness. <laughs> Him with his hat. <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the mother goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping your blood eternally pulsing. I hope, be I hope he peaceful. keeps that, you know? And Being gentle with his young self. Forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. Oh my goodness. Okay, where are we? Under the denouement of all coming morrows kisses me. Until then I have embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, in every sinking night, by every daring gamble. No vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not his quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all to weather tempests. One after another, till mire enshrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has last landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully. No, wait, did he die? He'll be back. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. He'll be back. 
as something else, I think. Only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> as planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. What are they harvesting? In the cradle of slumbers deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches. He'll be back in the next update, is my thought. Fruits. You won't be adventuring. Yeah, exactly. All for the Amber Lord. What if Amber itself begins to glow? If he becomes an emanator for the Klipoth. You find only blackness before you. What happened? Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few moments ago. Aventurin unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Acheron drawing her blade, and then... Crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. <gasps> You're awake. Sam! I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Sorry to keep you waiting. A uh, crevice between dreams. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I know you. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. I think you did, didn't you? But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script yeah it did i guess Elio is right in this land of the dreams you and i will reap unforgettable gains is this the part where you tell me what you couldn't tell me on the rooftops i don't know people's hearts as well as he and kafka do nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. Well, we seem to have some things in common. So, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. I was right! <laughs> I was right, I was right, I was right. All that I am. <gasps> My girl. My girl. There she is. Labyrinth like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. Maybe a bit? Okay. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. Oh no. I hope He's in that danger. sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. He's in danger. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. Oh, shut the heck up, Sunday. You know who the real serial killer is. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. 
But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic! Gallagher, I'd be careful with that if I were you. You have no idea. Oh no, he's done it, hasn't he? You... The family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. It's all part of his plan. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because he knew. It was all part of his plan. My target from the beginning has always been you. <gasps> the more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. He's gonna kill him. He's gonna try and kill him. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case. Oh, Gallagher is not even afraid. Charmony Festival. He is he is meeting him in the middle here. And Gallagher is taller. He's looming over him. Isn't that right, my brother? Bro Hang on. Okay, I need to- I need more information. <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes, take Is a good look. Is Gallagher the watchmaker himself? <sighs> Is Gallagher a fake? Indeed. Every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me is miss he a the manifestation of, of the dreamscape itself? That odd scar, the mark of Woolsey, and the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all fifty-two loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. So is he the watchmaker then? Tell me I'm wrong. Minion of the Egmigmata. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I was completely wrong about Gallagher. You have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. I still don't believe it. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? I still don't believe it. <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. 
Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Okay. I did not see that coming. This does change everything. Okay. 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 Um. Okay, I will do this next stream, I think. Okay. Just, just, just half a second. Just, just half a second. I need, I need to yell at someone. I need to yell at someone. Just a second, just a second. You little... You... I don't like you anymore. I don't like you anymore, sir. I don't like you anymore, sir. Okay, 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 okay. And just a second, just a second, just a second, just a second. I've got to do another thing. I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to do one more thing. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, my friend? Dang it, you're not here yet. I was gonna go say hi to Aventurine. Are you kidding me? Okay, so he maybe still was Tyrannin, but he is turned on his head. Okay, we got that, we got that. Can we do another poll tonight? I've gotta go to sleep, it is so late for me. I'll deal with you later. Oh, hi. Oh, uh, Sage, were you ga gambler? Sabadapaha. He only wished for his own destruction. He wanted to cause death and thus create an opening for the IPC. None of these are true, but that's the closest to the truth. Start the drift across the ocean. Take a moment to read chat, though. Do you know what the 13 major arcana of the tarot is? I don't do anything with, with, with tarot. Let me see. Thank you for the hydrate. Appreciate it. I'm 13. 13 is death. Okay. Interesting. Bird is actually memories of me and hydrate, stretch. The burb has been so confusing, I'm gonna spend some time looking at the burb. That's for sure. Lux won't give you a card titled Zero? Yeah, we know she does, she does uh, cardistry. Zero is the fool? Interesting, okay. The stars to progress the dreams. Okay, if you have one count the dream choose, what will you ponder when you raise your head? Okay. Stickers? Oh! Okay. I am gonna have to end stream because this is so much. So incredibly much. And my brain doesn't like it. But, before I do, can. I get one last thing. Please. 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 Okay, we've just a five star. Please. Please. Let's end stream on a high note. I beg. I beg. Okay. Yes. Yes. Things. Melody. It's Welt. Um. And on Hong. Well, here's the thing. I have good luck with... Hi. Hi, Iceland. Thank you so much for the follow. I have good luck with 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 soon with with rolls that I do very quickly after a thing. Do 
372. Nor. Well, is really good with Acheron. I will get Acheron eventually whether, eventually, whether it's this banner or a later one, I will get Acheron. New and you won Welt. New friends. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Wait, what does that actually do? Well, these are enhanced the next two times. Oh, okay, 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 good, good, good. Come on, back to back. Here, just a second. Let's see, how many do I have? I'm gonna use these four. Anything here? No. Last time I got a black swan and a Himiko. Back to back. Okay, so nothing. It's okay. It's okay. That would have been a really fun way to end stream. That would have been a really fun way to end stream. But now I've got a guarantee on the next one. So that's great. I'm going to quickly... I will do this off stream. Because I've got to sleep. It is so late. Now, do I do things on Saturday? Or do I do things on off stream tomorrow? When we stream again Saturday. Saturday at 7 EST. If you guys want to join the Discord, I post all of my little updates of, oh, I can't stream today, or yeah, I'll stream today. That's where I do it. That's where I do it. If you go exclamation point discord in chat, you will have the link to it. Oh yeah. Okay, so don't leave just yet. We've got special stuff. Special stuff that we do. I don't just stream. Um, take care. Have a good one. Okay, Strachan, thank you so much. We do special stuff at the end of stream for new viewers and followers, by the way. So, so I would, I would stick around real quick. Ah. Okay, just one second. Give me 30 seconds. I'll be right back. So sorry, guys. Okay, I'm back. Just one second. Sorry, guys. It is so late for me. My family is all asleep, so I've got to do this. Turn off the Wi-Fi and go to bed. Oh my goodness. Game capture. I see you. I see you guys. All right. So we do something special here on the MMA channel. Can you see? Yes, you can. Hey, yo, here we go. So we've got a special garden out here. And this is my garden. I've had this for my past two years of streaming. And what I do is after every stream, I will put the names of my followers in the follower book. So, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so, let me see. Up, 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 scroll down. We had... Let me make sure that I'm not missing anyone. Okay, yeah, Mecha Oxygen was the most recent person to scribe. subscribe on stream. So Fiendma, 
that this next person, I'm gonna actually copy their name because it's got some Japanese. I think it's Japanese. It's either Japanese or Korean. I can't always tell them apart. There we go. Okay, so flick. Yeah, thank you so much. Play with Alfred and you, Wiki. Ooh, there we go. And then we go F Mar. I'm so sorry if I misspell this. F Mar. I think that's it. No, no, no. It's one at the end of it. Well, you're right there. You're literally on my screen. Why didn't I just look up a chat? Okay, okay. Scrolling up. Centauri09. And then we go a Cyan1. And we go Bagel Fan. Was it that? Bagel Fan, I think? I'm like going back and forth and then chubs. I'm just copy pasting because I don't want to count the S's and Z's and B's. Okay, and then after that we've got whoop 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 scrolling down. Thief of Doom. This changes everything, does it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm glad you think so. Okay, and Sylveon Frost. Guys, Sunday's dead. I just now, I just now got that. Sunday's dead. Okay. Um. <laughs> that's weird. Deserved. But that's weird to think about. <laughs> Sun dead. Okay. Okay, and then I've also got to do things, because we got five subs today. Okay. Miracle. And then we scroll up. Poor Fox. And the most ordinary man in Pentagon, was there with him. Okay. Okay. Scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Beck the Beetle. He was playing the shrink behind the scenes and now he's just dead. Yeah. Okay, and then Iceland. Alright, guys. Those are all of our followers for today's stream. Sooner, like, at some point, we will reach a point where we can just go. And, and put it here. Once it reach on, reaches 100 pages, it just goes here. Isn't that special? <laughs> Alright, guys. With this apple, she can't die? Nope. I mean, maybe. Sheeb. Sheeb. Here's the fun thing about the sheeb. First, we feed the friend. And then we do a thing. We go. Grab a name tag. Guys, it's time to make the sheep rainbow. Ready? <laughs> Thank you guys for five subs this stream. This is your this is this is this is my my reward for you guys. The sheep gets to be rainbow. Look at him. <laughs> I love him. Okay guys, I'm going to quickly I'm not sure if death in a dream is real death. We'll find out, won't we? Alright, guys. Thank you. Armor. 
thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you next stream. It will be on Saturday at 7 EST. Do not forget. Oop, just a second. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Do not forget. Ooh. If you want to join the Discord and be more involved in the community, there's a link there for you. I do all kinds of fun things, just talking in chat. If you ever want to have like a dialogue with me, in, in like that, then yeah, I can, I can, yeah, I, that's that's the best place to reach me. Um, I'm asleep now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I will most likely either be doing more Star Rail stuff or I'll be on Neverbound SMP on Saturday, which is I've I've not been on it on stream before, but it's an amazing thing we're using. A whole bunch of different mods and there is a whole bunch of lore happening some of it involving things that i'm doing with the the character that's like acheron so take that as you will <laughs> i'll see you guys next time bye oh wait uh, i have to figure out who to raid but until next time guys please stay safe and stay kind let me see who i can raid lights in the distance a forgotten time not on my way Oh, I'm on my way, so stand on the edge, the edge of the world. I'm going to send you guys over to Nekopan TV. Am I? Am I, though? Do I recognize any names? I don't recognize names right now. Okay, you know what? I will send you guys over to, yeah, Neko Pan TV. They're playing Stardew Valley. There was a new update recently. So go enjoy that. Let's go raid, view. And don't forget, if you are sub, you have access to the Emma raid emotes in chat. So go use that and, and tell them hello for me. Oh my goodness, there are 30 of you. Uh, thanks for 30 viewers. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. What?